quite okay, so recording see. Started. Recording has been started for today. Oh god, they have a tour going. Um, yeah, no, Spilo is a really good coach. Oh my god. I'll be back. <clears throat> All right. I guess that's um, gonna... Sorry, what? No idea what he just said, but okay. he said something about Sadie. I think we just move on. All right. So, um, everyone who's in game, can you guys like close your games? Um, and I know at least one person is right now. <laughs> Super heat. Minus fifty SR. <clears throat> I, I'm working on it, Galen. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give me more than two seconds, jeez. Yeah, but um, just in general, like, uh, if I feel if you feel like you're getting like bored during a of you, or if like I'm like, or we're, we're like dragging on too long, or like, um, maybe like you feel like we're a little underprepared or something, like feel free to say so, and we'll try and figure out ways to like make it like more like engaging, I guess. Because like I know like especially when like it's like two hours, like it can get very it's draining just like listening sometimes. Um, but like. I need to make sure like everything I like I'm saying is still being heard. So like if there are ways I can like make it more interesting or more um more engaging or even like shorter, like more concise, uh by like prepping in advance and then like maybe having a you take like half an hour. Um like please let me know. Um uh, but like this is just how I've been doing it and it like this is like pretty subject to change if you guys want to change it. Um Are you yeah, planning the... on going a little bit after to do more maps or no? Can't like on our own? Yeah. Oh. I can if Galen can. Yeah, we could. Like yep. like what you guys did last time for the recording. Yeah, sounds good to me. Cause that I I enjoyed being able to have that. Let's just cover more. Okay. Yeah. We'll and just, we'll we have maps with Balzaria this time. Huge. Uh so what Huge. map did I leave on? I think I left on Oasis, right? Yep. Okay, how are Hanamura and Dorado? Oh, okay, we're not looking at Dorado. <laughs> How's Hanamura? Why not Dorado? What's wrong? I can see the Omega Lol next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dorado oh, was a very serious game. No, no, no. I know it was that. Dorado, don't, don't, don't Omega Lol. Maybe that's our brand Oops. now. Just chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chaos is good if like the team can buy into it and is willing and like. The, the most important thing for like chaotic games though is they need to have like really like like solid mechanics across the board right because if you want to like no team to have cohesion and just have it down to target holding communication like your team just needs to be better at like you know all the micro stuff uh but it's a completely viable strat um if like you feel like like if you feel like you feel confident that your team's gonna be better than like any other team in yeah, terms of just, like, it, like, it, uh, team that mechanics. only does that sorry there's an Overwatch League team that only plays comps that just cause an extreme amount of chaos. Yeah, I mean, like, there's definitely, like, ways to, like, to do it, yeah. I'm just saying that, like, um, you need to be fairly confident in, like, your ability to, like, out-mechanic people. And I'm not sure that fits our group right now. <laughs> you have to ego everybody, basically. Yeah. I think my ego's too high. In that regard. I mean, uh, being willing to like ego people is fine. Just like um, don't do it too much. Yeah, just know like when it's okay and when it's not right. Yeah, that's why. That's why I said my ego is too. Ego when you can win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me pull up my notes. I said that I would do that. I didn't do it. Uh, there it is. Uh, keep giving you time. Yep. Reminding or reminders. Yep. All right. So I want to talk about our defense with this. Full screen. Ready for battle. <sighs> Three, two, one. All right. So we talked about last time um, during the scrim about like how we need to control angles better for our Zen, so that way our Zen getting dived is like a non-issue from the beginning, right? And obviously we can't be perfect at that, but like scouting, calling in, uh, where people are, and then contesting them is like um, are all really important and like fundamental, right? So if we watch this, right, if we look at our coverage, right, we have our ball watching main, we have our Ash watching main, we have our Echo watching main, right, we have a Diva watching top right, right, and our Zen is here, right. So we, if we look at it, we've got, like, pretty good coverage, 
other than this tunnel, right? And potentially somebody push you on the side if we're not paying attention, right? Um, so we want to spread out in a way, like, I know, Josh, um, you weren't sure what angle to take initially. Um, are you here, actually, by the way? He's not Josh here. Okay. Here. Okay. <laughs> I remember uh, Josh was asking about what angles he's supposed to be taking, but, like, um, this angle is fine so long as, like, someone is paying attention to this, right? Um, but uh, we pr pretty consistently let someone get through here. So this is really good by Aras, right? Aras just body blocks this. He shoves this ball back, right? Our Zen is totally fine. Our, our Zen can revive dis um, Discord and Harmony, right? And we win this flank just by default, right? I forget, is Avery here? It's not. No. Okay. An essay appeared. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so th this is something that we need to prevent, right? Um, this is where Tracer really comes in handy, by the way, is like you just put a Tracer here, right? And you control this line. Done. <laughs> right? And if they decide to ignore this and start pushing on the left side, your Tracer can just like match them on this side of the map, right? Um, but this is something we want to prevent, right? Uh, it's just the, where'd the ball go? Oh, the ball getting over here, right? This is a reasonable peel, right? Just a solo ball, not the end of the world, right? No one else on their team is flanking. Um, and uh, we don't even need to move the Mercy, because like the ball uh, the Diva can handle it alone. It'd be a different story if the Echo was committing with them, but she decided yeah. not to. But do you see how like we, we just, you just look, and we just have all these angles, and these people in the back line literally can't do anything? And this is like... Um, this is like reflecting in like our... Uh, I guess it's not really reflecting. That's kind of odd. Um, Maybe if the fight develops. Okay, well, we got a kill, right? This kill doesn't happen if these people are, and more of these people can do stuff, right? And like the fact that our back on is, uh, the fact that our DPS are stacking the same angle and still killing them, right? It's just a, a, um, a function of like our better map control, right? Galen, sorry to interrupt you. Are you able to redo the stream just on the max uh, quality settings? Uh, I think that is the max. Are they on max? Uh, I'll set it to 60 FPS. I don't know if that'll change it. Uh, it's a little smoother. Yeah, it, it just keeps getting. Uh yeah, it's a little chunky on my end, but oh well. Uh, let me. Chunky. No, it's it's not it's not the game. It's definitely Discord. No, if I if I lower CPU settings, generally it helps. Let's uh bring this down. Can you put us in sh uh stretch res? No. <laughs> why not? What do you mean? Why not? Imagine right, how it... small Zen would be. That made that made like zero difference. Made zero difference. Yeah, it's whatever. It's just gonna I be think greeny. it's just Discord send. It is Discord. Oh, okay. Wait, it's hang not... on. If it's a grainy issue, let me lower the frame rate. Yeah, that's. I think that's as good as it gets. Sorry, oh, go on. All right, let me actually frame rate then, because this is hurting my eyes. <laughs> So, but do you see how like this ball, like just being allowed to operate here without getting like actually shoved out by like, say our Echo just like following him around and shooting him until he actually leaves is like causing, is like allowing this to happen, right? So like, yes, on one hand, the ball isn't enough to solo pressure Zen, but like we need to like kick him out. You know what I mean? What's going on with the speeds? I, I noticed this as well earlier. It's like, like we're, we're super committed to this stuff, right? When it re really takes one person just applying pressure for this to, to, to work, right? And we just need to kick the ball out, right? And then we can go in aggressive when the ball's out, right? And then that's when we can start like aggressively pressuring their backline. Their backline's not doing anything anyways. Like, why do we care about these people, right? Um, all we need to do is stay alive here, kick out this ball, right? Uh, consolidate our angles, and then we push, right? But we're trying to do both at the same time, and this ball gives a really great engage. So like, for example, like it didn't lead to anything here, but imagine if the Echo hit her stickies, right? Um, or her left clicks, like somebody dies there, right? Uh, off that ball engage. Right, and again, this side of the map, completely unattended, right? Nobody's paying attention. We're all focusing on main, right? Again, main is not where fights are won or lost. It's this part of the map and this part of the map, right? If uh, if, um, if we don't look at anything else, we need to look at that. Main is not important, right? And so again, like they get an engage from the side, right? Where no one's looking. They get a ball slam, they get an echo stickies, somebody dies, right? I'm curious what happened with the D.Va on the point, with the D.Mac, what happened there? 
It's just overfocus on main, right? Like he's gonna go in. Uh, okay, how do you get here? Yeah, how do, and that's why I'm asking. Like, how do you get there, right? All all the focus is on the high ground. Why is the diva down there, and how's the diva getting demacked? Someone probably calls someone low initially after this, right? And he's just gonna probably boost in, knowing what I know about diva players. <laughs> yeah, I'll be happy to be proven wrong. But that's probably what's gonna happen. All right, ball's gonna go in. Guarding the flank. Oh, yeah, he's, he's trying to secure the ball. I mean, this is fine so far. He's kind of feeding, but yeah. Okay, is that no? Not I'm yet. talking about okay. our diva. Yeah, so our yeah, diva yeah, goes okay. in to secure the kill too late. I mean, like this is just like not important, right? This is main. Main is not important. Yeah. This is where the fights went or lost. This is where the fights went or lost. There's no threat here at this point. So it realistically is diva. You can either like push in deeper and like threaten the backline by just standing above them, which is super dangerous actually for for, for backline, right? Or you just come over here and defend this side of the map, right? Totally valid as well. Um, or you can just park yourself here, right, and protect your Zen. Totally valid as well. If you're leaving your Zen, um, I know Russell's in here, but if he hears this, um, make sure you tell your Zen so that way your Zen can like back up a bit and play somewhere more defensive. Um, or have like have a DPS swap places with him. So like he comes over here, right, and then maybe the Ash switches over to this location, right, and the Echo keeps playing the more aggressive angle. Um, it... Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it, it is the off tank's job to keep the Zen alive, but like you don't need to be standing on top of the Zen in order to do that. Yeah, you just need to be within reach to yeah. where you can get back to him and peel. But to emphasize, um, this is not important, right? None of this, none of what goes on in this part of the map is actually important. All that matters is the angle, right? Yeah, and then he loses mech for it. Unfortunate. And again, like, what are, where are both of our tanks? I mean, they're not really a tank anymore, but you get the idea, right? They're all, they're always main, right? Meanwhile, this side gets completely dumpstered, right? <laughs> so if we look, right, we're focusing a lot of, like, our first reaction in this situation where we're down people, right, is to apply car pressure, right? But what does applying car pressure actually do? Nothing. Yeah, I mean, all it does is stop the stop the cart, right? But stopping the cart isn't important here. Winning the fight's important, right? If you look, they're setting up all these angles. They have an echo above, right? So what should we be doing in, in this time? We're outnumbered, so we can't actually force anything. But what can we do? Um, get into position. Yeah. Well, like like name some, right? What are some good? What are some potential spots we can take? Uh, gas station. Top of gas station. Planks. Yeah. Maybe yeah, go up onto boards. Yeah. So we can potentially push our diva zen, like just put put them in this general area, and then when our ball goes in on our, like in our ball will go around left side, right? Um, and that way he doesn't have to burn his cooldowns, etc. And then he can go in up like up the stairs, go on this uh zen ash, right as like our 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 diva uh, zen pushes up from this side, right? And that's a really valid way to uh, to re uh retake this point, right? Um. You want to do obviously we want to wait a couple seconds because we're waiting for respawns. Um, but like, uh, but do you see our auto automatic reaction is always like contest cart go main right? But like and this is where the like this is completely open right? This side is like there's defended by a Zen and maybe a Diva like theoretically right? Can you come up here and defend it right? Um, but we're just not using the map. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I have. Seven fifteen. It's 7.15. Thank you. Yeah, so we look, we survived, right? We get a kill, but we look at our map positioning, right? And everyone ended up back here. Everyone, right? Except for Christina, right? Who is Mercy. So, you know, not exactly holding the off angle is Mercy. <laughs> Why does it keep doing this? Battle Mercy. <laughs> I, I had that problem I mean, earlier when I was doing a VOD review, too. It was going from 1 to 2 speed. Yeah, I, it, I don't. they broke in the last patch or something. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we stabilize the situation, right? So what are, what are some things that like we can immediately do to, to we, what, uh, what are some things we can do to immediately improve our situation map control wise? Just take back positions. Yeah. Uh, so for example, right, we could just take our diva and just like fly over here and help our our other diva, right? In the meantime, we can rotate our Zen up to Hagra, right? And now we have uh, gas control. We can thread this ash much more directly than playing the low ground, right? And but, our ash could walk across uh, to gas station with Zen. 
yeah and you just got here so like you're you're yeah. only relatively good spot you just gotta you know push it uh, push the envelope a bit yeah. um and then meanwhile our tanks just like bring the heat over here keep it busy right and then we win on the flank right a solely valid approach we can also just take our diva just walk up here and then fly into this ash and probably kill her <laughs> yeah i was, I was totally just gonna valid. say i i feel like i like the idea of having the diva secure the high ground of gas station so that zen and ash can move in and then have the diva pressure the ash so that she doesn't harass the squishies on on the high ground to yeah, set like, a little we, bit of crossfire yeah, like there's already a lot of crap happening here. Like, sure, we can bring our diva and bring even more stuff, right? And that's totally valid. Or we can just like push the off angle, right? Who's the person who's most exposed by themselves, right? It's this guy. So just go kill him, right? Or at least force him out, right? And it doesn't take that much. Uh, these people are all committed, so you're going to take a lot less damage. In the meantime, it buys time for your team to rotate, right? These are all good things we've talked about before. Diva. All right, so if we look, um, we actually stabilized the situation. We we spent um, some ults doing it. Probably not the most efficient ults overall, like especially um, um, like the Demon Bomb in particular was kind of like, there was no real target for it. Uh, but if we look, like we did, we, uh, we stabilized the situation, but we didn't actually like retake the map control we wanted, right? Um, we ha we've got some people up here, right? Our ball is like sitting with our people in the back. It's kind of strange. We have also have our Zen on low ground. Uh, didn't rotate back to high ground when we had the chance. And then our Diva is like playing card, which is okay. Um, but we we're sort of in an awkward situation where like um, we reset the fight, right? But we didn't actually retake any of our we we all we re re really retook was gas, and gas is good, right? But we want to take as much of the map as possible, right? So our echo's over here. If our echo can stay here, this would be really strong, right? Just stay in this angle, right? How are you going to kick this echo out? You can't, right? And the best way to support the echo is like a Zen right here, right? Zen you orb them, right? You take the angle, you hold everything, right? Um, and you're pretty much undiveable from the spot based on the enemy, like where they're, where they're set up, right? Um. Had, uh, although this guy might have bomb soon, but <clears throat> but like this is why I mean we just need to like um, set up in good spots that give us uh, lots of angles, right? Okay, so if we look the net result of not being able to hold their echo out here, right? The net result of not being able to support the echo here and our ball playing with our team, right? Is this right? If we look, we're in a corner. Things in Overwatch are hard, but they're usually pretty simple, right? This is pretty simple. We just lost our map control, and it, it, it's just because we weren't we didn't support our echo over here, right? And our ball was like playing with our team instead of holding another angle or trying to push another angle. Um, I think we get snowballed really hard here, but I don't actually remember. Any questions or comments about point A? I don't have any. Also, it's already been 20 minutes, Galen. Oh boy. I think we should just watch second on this map because we did third fairly well. We stopped him yeah. at third. Yeah. All right, angles. Okay, how does that happen? Yeah, this is just a bunch of individual uh, mistakes compounding. Unfortunate. I just started missing my shots on the echo too. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, if you notice, right, how did we lose this fight, right? Pretty, in a pretty straightforward manner, it's because Josh died, right? Why did he die? Um, uh, the Echo got an angle. Like, we weren't we weren't actually contesting the angle when this happened, right? If you notice when this happened, right, in terms of timing, right, uh, like what they did well, right, timing-wise, I went to go far enough back. So timing-wise, like, look when this Echo goes up, right? Echo goes up when ball is in, right? So this means that these two people are looking at this and not at that, right? And this is why this play works from this Echo, right? Because in, in a normal world, this Echo just flies up. She just gets beaten by by Ian and and, uh, and Owen, right? Um, so, um, 
This is how we lose the map control. This echo made one good play at one good time, gets one kill, right? And the fight is effectively over, right? Like, yes, this is theoretically like winnable, right? But it's hard, right? And again, like, where are our tanks? Ball focusing on main, Diva focusing on main, right? No pressure. Uh, we're not like trying to push this echo out, right? We're not trying to restabilize the situation. The angles are lost. Our Diva gets burned. I've noticed we spend a lot of time just not really doing much. Like, we'll have just tanks in, like, their back line just kind of not really doing much back there. Just kind of, like, screwing around, I guess. I don't know, I probably described that poorly, but... Yeah, I get what you're talking about. Um, a lot of it just like, comes from, like, awareness of our tanks, of understanding the important angle at any given time, and, like, working to control it, right? Like, this Echo got away with murder, essentially, right? She got the kill, and now she's hanging out up here in a spot where she gets a very strong off angle to threaten our, our, our Ash, right? And only now does our, one of our tanks realize, like, oh, we should, I should probably deal with this, right? Um, and um, in the meantime, right, like, uh, because the D.Va is playing uh, main as well, right, the D.Va got burned, lost all our HP, and that's going to take the Harmony Orb for the next 20 seconds, right? <laughs> right. And that, like, just because we, lo we lose 20 seconds of Harmony Orb, we now can lo no longer play aggressive, right? Just fundamentally. Um, so it's a lot of individual mistakes and, like, lack of... Um, uh, and not not understanding like really important uh, like decisive moments like this echo just got a kill we need to force her out or uh, like either try to kill her or at least kick her out um, so that way we can retake the angle right and reset up a concave right uh, but because we don't understand that right um, at like an intuitive level the echo gets with with murder uh, the the pace of the fight's really slow we don't make a play on the front line we don't make a play we we just barely made a play on this guy right and by the time like we kicked him out right the tanks are going in again and we die and we don't even kill the echo. <laughs> Again, the harmony has not moved from the diva. <laughs> All right, that's second. Any questions on uh, Route sixty six? I was gonna say also, um, using bomb to remech is good because like having mech is the, like the entire purpose of your kit. But bomb is also a very very strong ult that we can use for things other than just remeching. So, like, try yeah. and be a little bit more cautious on just burning it to remake a lot. Yeah, I agree. Uh, any questions on root, though? No. I don't okay. have any. Whoa. Okay. There you are, I think. Wait, the replay expired? No, it was already in my list. I was doing a lot of you on this, I think, already. Oh, I got you. All right. So we struggled a lot with attacking this, right? And it just comes down to clearing angles and playing with our Zen, right? Um, so this is a two-way street, Owen. You just need to talk about where you want to set up, right? And make sure people set up for you. And if they're not setting up for you, right? Or someone else has an, a different idea of what they want to set up, they're communicating that, right? Try and do your best to follow up on what they're doing and give them feedback on what you're doing so they know, right? Yeah, I think I tried going into computer shop and then Josh eventually wanted me to play like stairs and so I did that. Yeah, so if we look right now, this isn't too bad, right? We got our tracer in, we got our bot in. Uh, Ian, you're probably playing too aggressive. You just need to like stay alive on this part of the map long enough for like your, your Zen to get in, right? Um, so if you stay alive here, somebody might come to push you. You can fight them. You can come out here, grab grab a orb. You have um the mini over here. You fight this ball. Um, Ideally, you don't get pushed all the way out, right? But you fall back to maybe this location, get some help, right? And then push the ball out. And once you push the ball out, then you can take a more aggressive position on this side of the map, right? So, um... Okay, so get into the map early, but don't get into the map early, is basically yeah. what you're saying. Just be ready for someone to push you, right? Because the whole yeah. point is controlling angles, right? If you don't get pushed, keep going, right? But mm -hmm. expect someone to push you, so don't get too greedy with this, right? You spent Blinks getting into here, and now you're spending Blinks fighting without the team, like, able to follow. Like, look how far back your Zen is. <laughs> and yeah. this isn't his fault, right? This is what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, especially since Avery doesn't even take the same path as you, right? So Avery takes like, uh, like a really like, the literally the opposite side of the map, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So like, you also don't get help on this side, right? Yeah, so this is like really messy, right? Our Diva left behind our Zen. Our Zen almost dies, and then the Diva, meanwhile, taking a lot of poke inside there. Um, and then our ball comes back to main instead of like, uh, I think he got pushed out by the Echo, um, which is why well, I'm not a huge fan of this pathing, but we can talk about that later. Um, and then, uh, 
Yeah, we don't actually get into the map. They just push us because they know we're down, right? We're getting we're we're, put, we're trying to walk in when we're down to the tracer, right? And the tracer is the one supposed to be going in to make space for us, not the other way around, right? Yeah, and then people die. Ian, think of yourself as like a very weak roadhog. Like you get value from just being in a space. Like, Hog doesn't get value because of the damage in his kit, but he gets value because he's existing in a space, and nobody can go and contest him in that space. Yeah, I mean, it's just fun. Like, Tracer is probably the best 1v1 character in the game, right? So if you just sit in a spot that's really hard to push, and someone does come to push you, you kick them out, right? And if they leave spots unattended with maybe one person, then you go in and you push them out, right? Uh, you don't have to kill them. Killing them is good, right, if you can kill them. But it's not always possible. So kicking people out is just as good, usually. Because, again, if we win on the angle wars, we just win on the map eventually, right? Yeah, so we're trickling here. This is fine. Just regroup. All right, so it's... Oh, my gosh, please. Speed... Please! It's going crazy. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. <laughs> it was not half speed the entire time. What? Alright. Alright, so go here... crazy! Uh... Alright, so now we have map control, right? We have a tracer on the right flank. This is a pretty aggressive flank, Ian, because you're not actually, like, holding the map in front of your team. You're going on, a, like, a flank flank, right? This is in an off angle. That's okay, right? The team just needs to understand that you're doing this, right? So calm if you're going on the right side or the left side, right? So your team knows. Um, and then, meanwhile, you know, we're getting an echo, an, a, a vertical angle of remain with echo. Our ball's behind. Maybe, yeah, okay, our ball's like taking too much damage before the setup, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then we're getting our Zen in on the left side. So this is okay. I would like, to, in an ideal world, if we know our Zen's going this way, uh, Ian, I'd prefer if you just held the left side of the map, right, just in front of your Zen, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then kept tabs on the tracer, like just like looked over there, so you know if someone's flanking on the right side. You can also leave that to your like your echo because your echo's playing this space, right? So if the tracer goes underneath, the echo will know, right? So don't worry about it too much. But you just want to hold this side of the map so that way, like if you look, right, how is someone supposed to get your Zen if your echo's here and you're here, right? And it's like straight up impossible, right? <laughs> uh, they can only do it if they're already hiding in, in place, which is why checking your corner is also important. But that's not really something to worry about right now. So here's the issue, right? Is that Owen comes out thinking we're pushing, right? And then we use we. It turns out most of the team is backing right now. Ian used recall. Um, ball is out. <laughs> uh, and then we we switched over to this side um, because, like, uh, I think Aras was thinking that, like, oh, the echoes over here. I want to support my team, right? But this is not the team for uh, for Diva. This is the team, right? It's defending the space in front of your Zen, right? Uh, and so Owen walks out of cover. Uh, the echo spots us. He has no help. He just gets blown up. Like, I know we said on point A of Route 66, you don't need to be sitting on top of your Zen to help, but it's like, it, you, you, you can't be over in Narnia while your Zen's on a different angle, right? Because there, there's nothing you can do to protect him there. Yeah, you just want to build, like, a bubble of insulation around your Zen, right? So if your Zen's here, right, you want to have someone here uh, watching this side, you want to have someone uh, here watching this side, right? Uh, and then, like, your fine, Zen's fine now, right? <laughs> Any push onto him involves pushing past you, and that's always really expensive, right? As an, as an Echo or a D.Va. It's like child-proofing a home, right? You don't want your toddler to hurt themselves, so you have to like, make sure that you're guarding them. Man, why am I always the toddler? Because <laughs> you are one. Yeah. But anyways, now that Zen's dead, everyone just needs to <laughs> kill, do nothing, right? And wait for Zen to either get res or respawn, right? So now the be kid's really careful dead. With this. Yeah, the kid's dead, so we need to wait for another kid. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I regret this so, analogy. Yeah, this... <laughs> Procreation. Yeah, you're being a little too aggressive here, because you just don't want to get hit at all, right? You just need to chill out over here, and just, like, again, be unpushable, right? Just, if someone walks into you, then you fight them, right? But for the most part, you just don't want to, like, get even be, like, found, for the most part, right? I know you blinked over here, so, like, just start running into, like, this hallway and hide, right? I, I got lost, where am I? Oh, here, okay. <laughs> But if you look, right, you take a lot of damage, right? Now you have to try and grab the mini under, you get pushed, right? And, like, you died. And this was, like, something that was, like, pr uh, preventable, because, like, again, we're still resing the Zen. Just, like, chill, right? Yeah. So we were sloppy with our angle, and then we got greedy while we were waiting, right? We got impatient, rather. Yeah, we went, we went hard when there was no need to, or more accurately, no benefit from doing so. Oh, and we get staggered here, too? Oh, I guess not badly.
All right, this is good, right? Ian's pushing out. Again, Ian, be really careful about just like, especially if you use blinks to get across space, which is fine, right? Just wait until your blinks back before you start pushing out again, right? Because now you're fighting, and I assume you have like maybe one blink max. Yeah, you have one blink, right? Um, so like, Where were we? We were in I can wall third for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, you know yeah. what also scares me about this situation too, Galen, just looking at the board right now, is not only did we fail that push with so little time left, we failed that push purely off of mistakes, and they knew how to capitalize on it to the point where they now have six ults for this next push. Yeah. Right? This, like, this like might... we didn't even yeah. force anything out of them. It would be another story if we did. Yeah, I mean, this fight's probably lost as a result, uh, but we can make it really expensive if we set up well for for them, and it potentially even winnable if they waste ults into trans, right? It's been half an hour, so we have like, or we have close to twenty five minutes left. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, so yeah, you know, just be a bit cautious initially, especially when you first use blinks to get into a space, right? Just like chill in that space, um, try not to take damage, and then when you have your blinks back, then you can go out and push again, right? It's just like take it step by step. Don't just try to eat the whole bagel, you know. Um, so meanwhile, right? Our ball, Echo, are making really good space. Ian's tied up their ball, right? Um, this is a really good opportunity to walk in with our backline, right? Our, our Zen. <laughs> I guess with our Zen. All right. So anyone see any problems with this? Uh, we don't have any both main. Yeah. Yeah. We're all in one spot, more or less, except for Tracer, who just recalled, I think. Um, and I we're all pushing pulse. one side. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the problem here is that, yeah, we're going to go in, right? So this is actually okay. Like, the fact that Ian's over here is actually a really big plus. Um, but the, at the end of the result, the end, um, end of the day, we still have, like, three tanks in front into a trans, mines, copy. It's like, oh, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, it's like we, we got in that situation because focus fire was good, but map control was bad, right? Like, like we saw the echo. I think everybody just wanted to make that play and prevent the second life copy. But she got it anyways. Yeah. Because if you go back five seconds, she's at like 25% HP. And everybody just tries to dive on top of her. Right. So we transform. Yep. She takes a bunch of damage. And now everybody goes on top of her. Like everybody yep. wants her. And she just transforms out of it. Forcing all of our own... I got three bombs thrown at me that fight. They used everything that fight. Yeah. They used yeah. three. Their Echo got one, then their Diva threw one, then their Echo threw a second one at me. Yeah. Um, so overall, right, um, we did lose that fight. Um, but, like, the fact that Ian pushed this side and then scared the entire backline with Pulse Bomb into using all of their ults was, like, a huge win for us, though. Like, you guys see how that worked, right? Ian took a flank. He pushed it. Even, at, even if the timing wasn't, like, necessarily the most ideal. And that forced out, like, three ults. Right. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to emphasize the importance of flanks, right? The reason why that yeah. happened, like, what were they doing wrong, right? Uh, do you, anyone, does anyone remember? You might have it to go back. Little, yeah. They were kind of pushing a corner, if I remember correctly. They weren't guarding the flank. They weren't guarding the flank, and they're all right here. All of them, right? Yeah. And so, when the ball goes in, and then Ian pushes them, right? Can you hit F4? Watch, watch the Zen's perspective. Uh, or, actually, go, go back like 10 seconds. And, and then watch from the Zen perspective. This is actually one of the things I learned from Spyler, right? Like, Zen's gonna be guarding the backline, so he needs to keep his head on a swivel. This dude never checks the... Uh, he checks the flank once, and he sees the ball. And he never checks it again, because he's so he's focused with that. He's like a vision. Completely like a misses the echo, yeah. Once, once something is no longer in his vision, it is completely gone. Yeah, yeah, again, it's like a toddler, right? Like, just mm -hmm. no object permanence on, on either of the Zens. So, yeah. so he, he not not Owen, per se, but, like, this, this Zen <laughs> totally doesn't even see the flank, right? And that's, that's I think, part of the value is their back line was super unprepared. I'm and pretty good at out. keeping my head on a swivel. No, you are right. actually good at keeping your head on a swivel. This, 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 uh, this uh, I almost called him an Owen. This Zen is not uh, good it's at this. Owen. Um, also, Dylan, you can actually help a lot in that regard because, especially when you're on brig, you don't have actually have a lot to look at, right? So if you can just like look around for flanks before they get to your zen, that's actually a really big plus. Yeah. I saw a video of someone who was vod reviewing someone who was like bronze consistently, and they were mentioning how a lot of players will 
see something and then as soon as it is gone it's like you don't on the higher ranks people are able to know where people are and like predict their movements and for say their zen he just saw them and then they're gone and then they're gone forever yeah so, so this is actually like, yeah this is actually very difficult for a lot of people um because there's overwatch throws a lot of information at you all the time mm -hmm. right so learning to filter like um what's important and what's going to happen based on what you see is actually a really big skill like for example if you're here and you're a totally new, totally new player and you turn this corner what do you even make of this right <laughs> and, and, and if you see someone if you see this ash sliding to the left right or her right and you're left like how are you supposed to process that and turn that into oh the ash is flanking i need to like be careful on my left side when there's all this other crap in front of you and that you're trying to also play the game at the same time right so like like yes that that's true like it but it's not really as simple as object permits it's like how do you filter in all the information you're taking and then convert that into like decisions yeah because right? you're constantly updating your your uh 3d mental map of the situation with just all the visual vomit that's coming at you right this is a very cluttered game yeah so it's again it's it's simple but it's hard right yeah um anyways that's all i really want to talk about with eichenwald which is like this concept of like um holding like taking map control setting up properly then going in and try not to get our cooldowns forced until then uh if we get, get disadvantaged uh either by like a tracer going down or zen going down or whatever the case may be right just Figure out like ways to um to mitigate our disadvantage. Either like if our tracer's dead, just wait until she's back. We're still here, right? No need to actually walk in yet. Um, or if our Zen's dead, right? Just wait until she, he's he's either respawned or been res, right? Um, and just play slow until we get, we get these situations um resolved, right? And try not mm -hmm. to take our take damage or get our cooldowns forced. Um, and also again like one off angle forced a big panic, right? And that's the power of like map control, right? The only person on their team who actually controlled the map reasonably well was the Echo, right? Um. Like everyone else just sat in a big ball all twenty four seven, and the ball would occasionally go make a play with the echo, right? And that's all they did, and that was enough to beat us, right? <laughs> um, so um, I, I assume uh, I don't know how the rest of the screen went, but um, yeah. So any questions yeah. on that? Time check twenty minutes, by the way. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, does anyone have anything else they want to go over? Because those are the big things I wanted to talk about. Maybe some Li Jong as well, but um. I covered all the stuff I really wanted to talk about, so. Yes, uh, no, maybe so. Uh, I'm good. Dorado. Okay. Dorado. No. Dorado. No. No. Dorado. Yeah. Dorado. No. So yeah. what do you say? No. <laughs> Negative. See? This is the, this is the new Dorado, okay? Oh, okay. New Dorado. Three is a new Dorado. Oh no. I never heard it called that before. Li so Zhong is... is now in Mexico. So, um, we've talked a lot about how to approach coming from White Room, right? Or coming from the, the, those connector stairs, right? Uh, but we haven't done it often where we run dark and run into someone taking White the normal way, right? So, the problem here is, look, uh, you guys want we'll watch this again real quick. All right. Not so, we talked. It? Okay, maybe too slow. So we look, watch. Hmm. What does this look like to you on our team? Um, what do you mean? How does it look it, what like we're look? already on the defensive, kind of? Yeah, so we're, one one thing is we're posturing defensively. Like we didn't even try to get aggressive on them, right? Yeah. And the second thing yeah. is if you look, our setup looks pretty similar to what they're doing, right? Uh -huh. We literally took a different angle, and then like we were like, okay, this is what we're used to. Let's go back to this. <laughs> Yeah, right. like, like we've already used a bubble, and the shield's probably like a fourth, no, a fourth down on heels. Yeah, but like we we just try to like we we our our usual position we talked about when we're pushing white room is like we put our Ryan here and we take this part, uh, part of the map so we can spam them right. But then like we came we if we look at the new angle we got when we came in from dark right. What's the angle right? There's so this right. big block in the middle right, and the angle on the right and the angle on the left right. So we just hold this with our Ryan right. And then we like maybe swing our Zarya out left side and hold this side with our Sim Junk, right? Now and this is a, mandates like, how we go aggressive. Yeah, and then we're holding aggressive here, and this Ryan is like in a, like going to be swung out by our Ryan who's holding this corner, right? Um, and again, like I know we talked uh, very extensively about how to push the side, but we're pushing from a different side, so the angles are different, right? So we need to think a little different, right? One junk our, holds it done just fine. If our positioning was how Galen is talking about it right now, their Ryan would be dead instantly. Yeah, he would be dead junk, like right, right now. Yeah, he, he wouldn't necessarily have to die, but he wouldn't be able to push very hard, right? We would just hold this spot, and then, like, their only choice really at that point is to go to point, right? And now we've won white room, we can push out, right? 
Yeah. Um, even, even if you don't kill the Ryan, like if, if you take that angle where you're at least putting the pressure on, I think the junk rat's probably the likely most likely to die first just by having that off angle, but you turn that Ryan into a shield bot. Um and, and that's almost valuable in itself. Is it, it, he can't do anything to you. Yeah. And so like again, our immediate reaction when we get here isn't to like look at the space in front of us and hold that space, right? Our immediate reaction is like, okay, let's set up how we used to set up when we push out this side, right? And we need to like avoid thinking like that. We need to think of it in terms of like context, right? Not just for like practice strats. So we look, and then we we and then we we even like like okay, Aras is like, <laughs> I, oh, I I remember no. talking about off angling. I was talking about off angling, so this isn't really his fault, but like he he, he misunderstood a bit. <laughs> um, but then like if you look right, we get scared. We we we're hiding, even though we actually got here first, right? We do this a lot. We get we we get there um to mid at the same point or faster than other teams, and then we back up, right? We hesitate or we back up, we lose all of our advantage, right? We look. You guys see this? God, if this tank's pushing, we're super dead. This guy is super happy right now. <laughs> Let's watch him play this fight. Why is he leaving? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, he did remarkably little. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, he did remarkably little. <laughs> shot of, like three shots. I, I kind of want to watch that Ryan. I want to watch that Ryan actually in that fight. Just to see when he goes aggressive, if at all. Like I, I mostly want to see like what his health and and shield pools are are put at, if he's feeling any pressure whatsoever. Right, he's, he's really he's really not at yeah. the moment, even with the junk. The reason rat you didn't take any sim. pressure. Yeah, the reason you didn't take any pressure is our junk sim were here. Our Ryan backed into them, right? And then our junk sim was like, okay, we got to take a different angle. We went this way, and then that time the Ryan like literally walked forward and got and like the Ryan's already got to here, right? And this is just like it comes down to holding space, holding cover, right? Um, and then also like setting up angles around whatever whatever Ryan decides to set up on, right? Um, so um, I don't know. I wish everybody was here, but um, again, like this applies to everybody though. Like like use cover, like use the the angle that's given to us, right? And see if we can ad adapt to what we're the situation as opposed to just like blindly just following like the original strat, right? Anyways, that's uh, control center. I don't remember that anything else that interesting happens here. But if you look, right, this is a situation we would really like, right? Except our Ryan would be here, right? And we'd have like maybe a Zarya out here and the rest of the like and our junk rat shooting down this hallway, right? And we would be in a pretty good spot, honestly, right? So I don't remember if anything interesting happens here, so we'll just go next map. <laughs> Unless anyone remembers something. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Okay. No. This was also first map, right? Yeah. I remember it got a lot better from here. Two, one. Oh, this is the map where they swapped the whole comp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just yeah, we won. Yeah. yeah, we held that pretty well. Moira players. <laughs> <laughs> Any team that forces Moira just deserves to lose. I made a mistake. Tell them how you really feel. That right. character <laughs> is so painful. Do you All guys right, so... see Jake? Go ahead. No, uh, go ahead. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. Um, so if we look, um, they take they brought a rush comp. They TP the point, right? So, what are their options? You get an Set. angle on each door. Oh, wait, are our options or their options? Either. Their oh. option is to sit. <laughs> and we just take as many angles as we can. Yeah. So we, we need to take angles. They need to either hide or rush someone who's being stupid, right? Yeah. Um. So that means we need to get off this bridge as fast as we can, right? Maybe leave like our diva here or something, right? And we need to move our zen into pagoda as soon as we can. Or hut, or pagoda. whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, just into this building as fast as you can, can't right? And that way you're covered, right? And you have options on where you can actually push, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, um, why, why would you why would you run uh, hut instead of kiosk, right? Kiosk being that middle, this? yeah. Like like, would it not be better to just dance around that so you can keep Discord on more reliably and have middle? So here? until you're sure, until you're sure whether or not they can rush you, you want to play a more defensive position initially, right? Which would be like back here and just sliding into over here, and then you can push out eventually, right? But you don't want to be like have them like not even have to worry about point, and then like run at you while you're crossing kiosk, right? What are these words you guys are saying? What do you what do you call so, it? So so we're calling Killer. that middle thing Killer. kiosk. Killer. Okay. Oh, I always, I always call it kiosk because it's like an advertisement. <laughs> our our comms sound like a monkey made them. 
Yeah. <laughs> you guys are cool. using elaborate words. <laughs> I'm just using his words. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, hut, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Come this way. Don't go this way, because this way potentially gets you rushed, right? And then once you're in here, you can make a decision whether or not it's safe to come out, right? And usually by this point, your team will force them onto the backside of point, and then you're free to walk out and take an aggressive angle, right? But you want to get off the bridge as fast as you can, so you don't get booped, um, so you can't get pressured as easily, and you take a long angle, right? Uh, and then you push out, right? This is also okay. If you just back up and hold this door, this is also okay for spamming if, like, the enemy team's giving you pretty good looks. Um, but we do need to, like, again, take angles as much as possible. And also, like, just you orb um, Josh as fast as you can, right? And have Josh, like, push even more aggressively on this side, right? But this boop is entirely because everybody's out here, right? This is super preventable. So, like, when I'm talking to Owen, I'm also talking to you, Dylan, by the way. <laughs> um, because, like, again, where Owen goes generally is also where you go, right? You're muted, Dylan. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So the problem is we got caught up in a tussle. We lost our brig early, so our protection for our Zen fell off, and then our Diva got caught got caught in a tussle with an Echo, which is a generally a losing fight. Um, and then we weren't able to like actually like stop them from pushing. We just kind of like got a tracer and our ball in the middle of them, as opposed to like poking, right? And that's some, again that's something that the Ryan wants. He wants to be in the middle of it. The big boop though. Do we retake this map at all? I don't remember. I think we do, uh, right? I think so. So, in this situation, like, we always want to cross bridge whenever possible, right? So, I'd like to see you, like, as soon as, like, your Zen's, like, alive, really, just, like, start crossing and getting to this part of the map, right? Uh, if you get pushed, you can back up and grab the mini. Or back up over here, grab this mini, right? And then, then you can come back and get orb as soon as your Zen is like fully back, right? But you want to start applying pressure here to make them think twice about actually holding onto bridge, right? Because just imagine if you're a Ryan here, right? I, I don't know if you play Ryan or Zarya or, you know, or. Okay, imagine you're playing Sim here, right? <laughs> and, and you see a tracer over there. And and then Lucia goes to fight her and she goes running this way. What's your first instinct? Um, Walk back point to contest her. Yeah, you're going to go back to point and start putting turrets over here, right? Yeah, and, and that's like this is what a tracer can do just by crossing this gap early and, and putting that thought into their head, right? And if like this Lucio doesn't respect you and you one clip him, now they're down, a, down they're down a person, right? And if he does like fights you well or something and he forces you out, right? Again, you have two minis to sustain you, right? And you can come right back, right? And then as soon as you get harmony or you can stay here indefinitely, right? I think uh, they and do it, end up blinking across. Yeah, you just want to do it as soon as you can, yeah. right? And then meanwhile we get our echo to do the same thing over here, right? And now this spot it just becomes unreal, un impractical for them because they're relying on their echo to fight off two characters at the same time, right? And either they're going to run over here, right, with their with their tanks, right, or they're just going to back up to point. And in either case, we get bridge control, right? Yeah. Now we should be pushing across. No, but you see how they haven't actually like left the bridge yet, right? Yeah. We've sort of like baited them off the bridge, right? But because our rotation was late, um, and like also like um, our echo is sitting main instead of like pushing more aggressively on this side of the map, just like even sitting here is totally fine. You don't always have to be vertical over here. Um, like if we look, you've you've got a Sim's attention, or sorry, you got a Lucio's attention and the Sim's like presence, right? But the bulk of their team is still here, and they're much better at fighting this than we are, right? That's a big boop, though. I was gonna say, I was really hoping that was what was gonna happen. Rest out the post. Yeah, so crossing the bridge, whenever like they vote a lot of resources, <laughs> just always really expensive. Whenever they have, they have a lot of resources. It. Oh, rip. Don't worry, uh, we didn't see anything. I don't know what you Yeah, it was, it was first map I was over though. That's a cool <laughs> skyscraper. Which one? Wow, that's really cool. The, the circle one. The one uh, not in the kill feed. The circle one. <laughs> this one? Yeah, 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 that one's really cool. Have you seen the one that's like above this map? Like, look, look up. Yeah. Mm, that's, <laughs> control that's control center, right? Yeah, that's control center, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... And all the maps are like connected on this one. Well, what is Ross doing over here? <laughs> what? He, he's 
Sniper Diva. He's off angling. <laughs> He's off angling. <laughs> <laughs> Very no, hard. The, the micro missiles don't have fall off. <laughs> oh my god. He's discovered a new tech. Yeah, I'd really I think like we were. Tech. If I remember, he might have gone over there because I think Zen was like, go right, go right, go right. And we were kind of just staggering and everyone kept going left. Oh, and then this is when he goes, he walks left after that. And then people are like, wait. Wait, why aren't we going right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Josh, this is what I'd really like to see you just like. Times. Sorry, what? That happens so frequent. Is like we call to go right, and then people would just kind of space out, and everyone goes just default first fight push. Yeah, yeah. we have a problem with listening to comms sometimes. I, not, I, not, I, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I, I think we just end up saucing ourselves, right? Like, like we say we're going to do something, and then like we just autopilot to something else. And it confuses everyone, and we throw our own game off just because, like, we're we're not listening, right? Like Galen's saying, um, just like we we gotta just follow through on the calls and believe in them. Yeah. Uh, so this is a situation, Josh, where I'd like you to see you just like play over here, right? And then like um from there, like you can convert to somewhere else, right? You can like just slide over here and take this angle, right? As like since we're going white room, like you're going to get support from the, the Zen probably, right? Um, and that'll create space for our team to like walk in, um. But, um, Same angles, Ian. It's it's fine. Yeah, I mean, okay. he just needs to get like apply pressure to this part of the map, right? And from mm -hmm. here, he can change angles, right? But like, I'd like to see instead of like going where the team goes, right? Just like cross the gap first, right? This is also okay. Just make sure you have orb when you're doing this. Avery insta died. Yeah. Yeah, so if you look, neither of our DPS had orb this whole time, right? Uh, the tracer had a recall force. They took the pack, so then like our tracer is forced, like feels obligated to like come all the way back here. If we look, we're all stacked. Our Echo's taking a slight off angle, but she's coming in through the window without harmony orb. It's probably just going to die immediately, um, and our ball just is just getting back. But you see, how, like this is like never how we really want to take fights, especially against a comp like this. Uh -huh. Like Ian, if he was on the point or like the outer, I guess where he's going right now. Yeah. So. We get the get the echo copy, but this echo copy isn't going to get a lot of value because like the echo copy is way in front, and the team is just crossing the gap. Our tracer has no real off angle and needs harmony orb, right? Um, and our ball is just getting back, right? So like it's botched on timing, it's botched on angles. Like there's just a lot of things going wrong here, right? So it forces the trans, right? Our echo copy is probably not going to get a ton of value. Actually, I think it ends up killing a bunch of people eventually, but it takes a lot of resources. Yeah. Oh, the big shatter. Big shatter. Yeah. Doing okay in a head-on fight, yeah. but only because we now have a Ryan. Yeah, and we spent every ult. Every all ult. of them. <laughs> oh my god, please. Alright. Yeah, the, the harmony up time definitely needs work. Mm -hmm. I, I think we've talked about that in the past too, right? Just making sure that you're supporting the duelist. I think we've talked about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time check five minutes okay yeah so just like um to expand on that like i think you need to move the the, the priority of your right click down below harmony orb <laughs> mm -hmm. harmony orb is way more important right i think i did that later in the scrim it's just okay. this was first map yeah getting back into it and all that's okay at, at right, this point though i don't that... know if you do you want it on the wrecking ball there at that point uh well, we also, our, our tanks are taking like a lot of damage pre-fight so yeah. i'm forced that's to keep true. orb on them a lot. It, it should be on your echo here, but it's not that bad because like like it's hard to know from this position whether or not your echo is going to take some damage soon. But you generally want to, uh, or someone who's going to do something. And, it's probably, and, and in these poke situations, that's almost always one of your DPS. Yeah, um, I just heard because that echo yeah. was about to take that fight right there. You're like she's already getting hit. Yeah. All right. So instead of like our echo being able to play here and aggressively poke and throw sickies here, right, our echo is backing. This is what we want to avoid. At least you saw it there, though. Angle-wise, this isn't too bad. Um, again, I'd really like for Echo to be somewhere po uh, posted more aggressively, but that was more of the pre-fight situation than a, like a current fight situation, right? Um, this isn't that bad, right? If we look, right, they try to push into us, right? They can't do it, and they just get blown up by angles, right? Meanwhile, our ball is keeping their backline busy, sort of. Avery needs to like figure out way thing things to do on circular points other than start going in circles. <laughs> yeah, the spin to win. I mean, that's kind of all he does on these points, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, 
That's something for individual help. Big stick. Right. And then, uh, really good play, you know, as well. Like, as soon as you get the stick, just start wrapping back around, right? I mean, at the core of it, he is buying time and attention, so it's not the worst thing in the world that he's just spinning to win. But, like, there's definitely better ways to mechanically do it. it. I mean, you just got to sit here, and when they try to cross, you either boop them back or boop them across, off the map. It's super yeah. easy to just do that on the cooldown. <laughs> yeah. You get so much more value than just spinning yeah. in a circle. Oh, no, 100%. Percent. I'm just saying, like, this isn't the absolute worst option, but it, it's not it's not great. Yeah. But if you look, right, no angles. They're going to die eventually. Unless they start ulting their way out, which they might, but, like, we seem to be fine, so... Oh, mine's got stuck on the wall again. Also, you know, I like it if, like, instead of, like, I know, like, it's very easy to just, like, panic and just, like, as soon as someone turns to look at you, you blink through them, right? But I want you to stay on this side of the map for, like, as long as you can, right? You have, again, you have two minis, right? Um, if you get pressure, you can blink out over here and probably get help from your Zen, right, relatively easily. Um, and if, like, you need to blink through to dodge, and then you can try and, like, blink back across, you know what I mean? These um, people are also probably just going to think, oh, he, like, chairs is off my screen for a second, they're gone. Yeah, you just want to stay on the flank for as long as you can, right? You just hold that angle until someone turns to deal with you. Use all your cooldowns to deal with that person dealing with you. Uh, and if, they, if they're, they're outlasting you or getting help, right, then you bail, right? And you use, like, your recall, then you use blinks to get over here or something. You grab the mini, right? Um, but you just want to stay on the off angle for as long as you can, right? But coming back to main all the time makes it so that, like, we lose our angle, right? And Josh hasn't, hasn't been able to hold a consistent angle. You have been able to hold a consi consistent angle. Um, Avery's not applying pressure on the bridge, so they don't feel very threatened on this part of the map, which is like where they should be feel the most threatened, right? This slice right here, right? One minute. Yep. <laughs> Alright. We'll probably just end it. Oh god, please! Alright. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we lose this now? Yeah. We weren't able to hold down our angles, they pushed us out, back out eventually with their like their don't, superior like roll. Watch my roll out. Oh god. Please don't watch it. Hey, we didn't watch Ian on the sky. We watched the skyscraper for Ian. Let's watch this guy's rollout. <laughs> you just see the kill feed and it's me slipping. You just hear it. Alright, that pretty much sums it up. Any questions, comments, concerns, if anything addressed so far? Nope. 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 Okay. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, Aiden, will you upload the video tonight? Yeah, I will. Okay. Alright, do you want me to go over Oasis on Hanamura? Um, we... I went over everything I really wanted to talk about, but I also didn't see Oasis Hanamura, so... I would... I think it would be nice, but... Okay. Aiden, got time? Yeah, I got time. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Alright. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys. Josh, are we having Scrim tomorrow? Probably. If they... Okay. If they for sure cancel. So, yeah, probably. Alright. Okay. All right. See you guys. See you See guys. you. See you. Yeah. Let me make sure my Discord can hear you, because uh, I wasn't able to hear Jesse earlier. No, I don't know why it won't pick up. That's so weird. Um, yeah, let me fix that. Give me a second. Let me add another sound input. Um, yeah, do you want to get those started up then? Uh, say something? No, it's not hearing it. What the heck? Um, you know what? Let me let me call you on uh, the other Discord. All right. Uh, cool. I don't know what it is about my other Discord client. It just doesn't like picking up on OBS. Rip. That's so weird. All right. 
Uh, yeah, you want to share screen? Yep. Pulling it up. Where? <laughs> uh, wait, I can just stream the game up. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me move this over real quick. Sick. Okay. Looks good. Let's see. So you haven't seen Oasis or Hanamura, right? Nope. Okay. Watch this for the first time. Yeah, likewise. I'm doing Zarya ball. We wanted them to practice that, right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I sound very I sure. I can't um, remember if this is the one that we wanted them to practice, or... I'm going to get confused. Uh, we just have this hesitation bug every time. All right, we got here. We stayed here for like three seconds, or like didn't move for a solid like couple seconds. Yeah, we we could have won that high ground race, and we just didn't push in. All right, like this is when we get here. Right, look at where they are. Right, they're roughly equivalent, even slightly behind us. All right, and when we try to actually get up, come up the stairs, they're here. Right. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if it's the hesitation of, like, I don't want to challenge this Echo when we don't have a tank in front of us, but it's what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, Arzari just needs to keep like keep going. Uh, like, if this happens, though, right, again, right, make sure, like, the way we apply pressure, right, is, like, we keep our Zen here, maybe move our McCree down here, right, and then, meanwhile, shove our Brig, and then, while they're shooting that, right, they're on the timer to do something, and then we can consider moving our Brig and our uh, Arzari up, depending on the situation. And we can also, <laughs> like, pretty safely build charge here as well. We've been in this position before with a different Oasis map, right? Where the, yeah, the exact same situation. <laughs> the exact same situation. So so I want to see how the Zen gameplay changes, actually. like I do want to focus a little bit more on Owen here, um, just because I, I know that was something that's like we didn't know how to take the angle, and so I wonder if we've improved on that from the last time. Yeah, Owen's doing a pretty good job here, I think. Yeah, right now he's in a really good uh, spot. Uh, what, if you want to hit F8, just to watch from his perspective. Just see what he does. Yeah. I just want to see what the angle looks like for him. Yeah, that's not bad. Yep. Nobody's looking at him, but then everyone backs up. Yeah. I'd like for Josh to also do that, because uh, uh, Josh shouldn't be like the one leading on, on this high ground. It should be the Zarya, I think, in most cases. And if Zarya can't do it, then Mercury definitely can't do it, right? <laughs> yeah. We probably didn't need to back out as far as we did. I, I guess we got scared of a dive or something, right? Uh, which is understandable, right? But we can at least like have someone like continue poking from over here, um, and then like maybe shift another like one, one of our heroes or one of our poke heroes over here, right? Um, but this is okay. Yeah. So if we look, right? They got the high ground, but if you look, oh, they're no. all together. Oh They're no. all together. Okay. Well, I mean, Avery's probably gonna die, but they're all together, right? These 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 are the freest shots in the world, right? So we look, that turned out pretty good for us, right? We get a free flank on our tracer. We forced recall. We forced um like a lot of cooldowns. They're they're still not recovered on health. If you look at the health bars, they're just missing a lot of health across the board, and our ball is missing like 200. So that was a relative good play by Avery. He gets a like a pretty value slam, doesn't take too much damage, and gets out. Uh, in the meantime, we're getting all the poke in the world, right? So this is why they need to take angles. And they can't stack everybody here because they need to be able to apply, provide threat here, no matter what's going on back here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't just get rolled right there by like the brig. Hi. Rip. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Alright, so, order priorities, right? What's the order of priorities? Uh, uh B, objective yet. sounds off. Yes, that is the first priority. That, that's right. the first priority. <laughs> <laughs> You're Sick. correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's the second priority? <laughs> Any ideas? Second priority for for us here? Yeah, just for like these people back here. What should they be dealing? What, what should they be looking at? I'm trying to think. So, Zarya is the one doing things right now. I would imagine it's not a terrible idea to start supporting your Zarya here, especially when she's the only one on point and kind of alone in this situation. Because like I don't think either of the supports can see her right now. Isn't Owen charging a right click like right here? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's looking to peek. I think I think we need to not think about damage and we need to think about helping out uh Arzaria. 
yeah. So Rosario could use orb, right? We've also got this over here, right? This is feeding, right? So we should also like turn our attention, shoot that, right? Give uh, meanwhile give harmony to our like the person who's who's like most exposed, right? Um, so again, like what is this? This is an extreme off angle, right? So we shoot it until it leaves, and then we can push, right? Yeah. Because if we think about it, this guy, he's kind of scary, right? He has boosters. He presumably has missiles. I think he just used them, but like if he had missiles, right, he could come in and like fly in and potentially kill our Zen, right? We can't leave this guy here, right? So we just shoot him, right? This is a long way back, a long way back, right? So we shoot this guy, we support our Zarya, right? We force this guy out, and then we repush, knowing that this guy is completely out of the fight, right? And also, we talked about how Diva takes forever to heal. <laughs> yeah. Which, which of our supports is watching the flank right now? I, I want to see if either of them check it. Uh, I they know, just start getting shots. Owen, but... Owen's going to go for some shots right here. I don't know if uh, Brig is going to turn. Yeah, wait, Brig sees it. Yeah, and Owen's going to shoot it, right? So this is good, right? It's just that this can't take priority over orbing your Zarya, probably. I, I guess... Uh, Orb is on, Orb is on McCree, time. and you yeah. just got blasted. And, and, and this is the problem with the flank, right? The, this flank, like, we got shot here. Why did we slide in this direction? It's because of this, right? So instead of instead of trying to back in this direction, just hold our ground, shoot this guy out, right? And then we can we can do what we want, right? But we get we get panicked by the shots, and we slide this way into their LOS, right? This is their, their actual angle, and then we die. Nice kill. No recall. Yeah, they're out. They're out. So we won the fight, actually. Wow. What what turned it there? Like, what was the main thing that that turned it in our favor? I think somebody be uh, somebody entered on their team. Let me check. Make sure that's a, a valid statement. So up in McCree. Uh, Brig gets caught out. The Briggs Zen is super low on low ground. Well, well so Briggs been slowing. Briggs been taking the one v one against Zarya like this entire time for whatever reason. And she's got orb. What? Oh, she gets peppered with a bunch of damage. I think from Owen or someone. Yeah, I mean, the, the Brig just entered, right? And then there's Zen who, like, needed a lot of help from the Brig that didn't happen, right? Because the Zen yeah. is also, like, not, pl not playing the corner very well. So the supports basically just ended. Yeah, they're not helping each other whatsoever. Like, the Zen's trying to help Brig, and the reverse is not true. Yeah. So now they're both down. Okay, cool. Yeah. They never reached a high ground. They were sitting on point. They they fed into the Zarya. The Zen didn't, like, yeah. play the corner well, and the Brig didn't peel, uh, heal the Zen. So, yeah. A lot almost, of cumulative mistakes. That almost reinforces my idea that uh, you can keep playing it, but that almost reinforces my idea that we we should keep pocketing our Zarya, just because like if if Zarya hadn't been able to win that one v one or that two v one, Zarya definitely needs support, right? But we also can't like die here, right? <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. we can, we can't die there, but it's just like you know that's I think just another case for harmony to Zarya instead of trying to throw out shots as then. All right, taking high ground. I like it. Nice. I would like to see our brig either post in this hallway, checking this corner, right around the corner using the shield, uh, or posting this hallway and checking the corner with the shield, right? Um, Make that's sure something no I'm like. tunnels. Yeah, like you don't need to actually play with your Zen all the time, right? So in this case, right, again, like uh, the way you actually protect your Zen is building a bubble around it, right? So um, instead of like necessarily standing on top of your Zen, you can protect your Zen by like just checking the flank ahead of the Zen, right? It's like creating a sphere of influence almost. Yeah, so like this ball, like Ian's doing a really good job of harassing this ball, but this really should be a brig also getting right in the way, right? Because yeah. this ball's been pretty telegraphed. We know this is happening, right? So instead of doing this, right, the brig should be like over here, like messing with the ball, preventing the ball from getting up to this place in the first place. Because the ball's going in, booping it, booping. It's kind of hard to bash him at that point, right? Especially if he gets if he gets vertical on you, right? So from a staging point, he gets a vertical above you. Like, what are you supposed to actually do to stop him from going on your zen at that point? You really can't, right? So again, like um, predicting the problem is way more, is, is a lot more important than trying than being good at solving the problem in the moment, right? Yeah, proactive, not reactive. Yeah. So we get some stuns on him, but imagine if we were like harassing the whole way and 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 this whip instead of kicking him out, like we just made it harder for him to get in, right? Because that pulled a lot of attention, and this is how they get here. They get to point like this, right? See what their their uh, their brick's doing, right? He's messing with ball before he gets to the Zen, right? And this is probably this isn't necessarily the best play in the world, but it is like, um, like harassing with Avery's ability to get go in, right? Yeah. 
I, also, both bubbles are gone now for this uh, engagement. Like, they're going to start fighting on the point, and once we try to take that fight, like, we just don't have any protection for it. Yeah. It's kind of a minor detail, but important nonetheless, I think. Yeah. Like, if they, had got, if they had gone hard there, that would have been problematic. Yeah, they don't have the really really the ability to go hard and like their echo is like i don't know he's doing something weird yeah so. well echo's doing weird stuff and the rest of the team doesn't have the ability to yeah the so the most important thing we can do right now uh especially for our brig and uh, and azaria is just like as soon as this happens just like walk back up <laughs> yeah why are they trancing did they get pressured out or did they try to trance rush the, the zen was one health so he just trance oh he was okay yeah the greedy trance uh, yeah, so this is happening, right? Why is this happening? It's because of this. Right? If these guys are up here, it's a totally different story, right? That forces our trance. And now we lost high ground, right? Everybody's off high ground now. And now this gets better value for the mines, right? Because we can't just drop and get away from it now. Our brig dies for it. This is we're probably still gonna win this. I don't know actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it got dicey, right? It got a lot dicer than it needed to. Um and uh yeah. Also, Josh, something I'd like to see you do more, um, is like when you're in a situation where you're super dominant high ground, but like and and like if you know your team's coming back up to high ground, right? Like, and you see them walking with trans, like, you can't kill anyone with the trans anyways, right? So just start, like, walking over here and setting up for a flashbang kill, right? Um, or, like, a big flank with high noon, right? You, you Like, you don't want a high noon from, like, the super visible spot, because even though you have a great LOS here, well, it wasn't even that good to begin with, because you're actually on this part of the, the bridge instead of, like, over here, but this will get you booped, so don't do it. <laughs> um, so your LOS isn't great, you're in full view of the enemy team, and then, like, no one doesn't know where you are, so you get pushed immediately, right? Um, and it's, like, uh, pretty good that you actually didn't die there, because if the Zen could see you, you could potentially just die, right? Um, so I'd like, if we're high noon, you want to set up like really far away. You want to be either here for high noon, right? All the way back here. Uh, or setting up over here for a flashbang kill. And then if you get the kill, then you can go for a high noon afterward. Uh, and that, because you've already secured your value more or less. Um, although if you just stay alive, that's also fine. Um, but like high nooning from main is just kind of rough. And then again, like main is not where fights are won or lost. It's on the flanks, right? So if you start abusing those flanks, you'll, you'll actually find more success probably. <clears throat> We're taking high ground at least, so we're doing that uh, at least. You're kind of resetting. Yeah, uh, I'd just be careful, uh, Josh, as well, about playing on the front half of this, right? This is not really your home. You want to play the back half where you have cover or with the doors, right? Uh, because your only option on the front half is to drop off, and that's like still no cover and not very good. That's yeah, on out. Yeah. So you, you barely live, but like you very easily could have died there. Right, and that's exactly oh. what happens to Aras as well, right? Aras is playing here, he gets burned to half health. By the time he gets it here, Echo shows up, kills him, right? And that's something that like is um just preventable by playing on the on the on the back half, right? Obviously you don't don't get booped, right? So like beware where the ball is, right? But you don't want to step forward until you're feeling confident, like you're going to make an aggressive play with your team and your team's still like regrouping, right? Um or if like um yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> or like you're feeling like you have an advantage right now, you can afford to, right? Lock on my dog. What is ball. They're, they're resetting. I hope that was a reset call. I, I, cause... I, hope, I hope we're resetting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, like, why are they pushing in? Like, they gotta just reset it. <laughs> okay. Could, could have been a little faster, but that's yeah. nitpicky. It just looked like they were walking to help uh, Josh, and then they suddenly just bashed off the map. I was like, did the mouse spin out? <laughs> what happened? <Yeah. laughs> Tactical feed. Going free. Yeah, I mean, if, if the points flipped in, you're in a 3v6, I'd use reset out of that. No reason to take more time than necessary, I think. Alright, we're setting up angles. We're taking yeah. this out of the map. This is this fine. Is going tunnels. Nice. This okay. is probably too early on ball because our tracer is still here, right? We want to like, um, if our tracer needs help getting through here, I'd like to see you fight this tracer instead of doing this, right? 
Um, and that way you can help your tracer take this part of the map. And then once you're here, then you can make a play from this, like you can like grapple over here, swing out, potentially boop someone, and then you can combo that with your tracer going for a pincer on the side, right? And you'll distract where, from the tracer's entry even if they know where she is. Where is Owen in this situation too? Right. So so another thing is like the the tracer going in on the uh, left side to try and take the tracer duel. Uh, there's no Zen to help cheat, right? Which yeah. does make that harder. Yeah, there's no packs over there either. So like when this is happening, right? Like again, take your time. Our Zen brig died late, so they're they're um they're coming in late. So take your time. Don't do this yet, right? Mm -hmm. Wait until like you can maybe take some damage for uh, on bubble, um, just to like get some energy, right? But don't like spend like resources doing this, right? Like just mm -hmm. kind of like sit here and feed for a second and then leave, right? And then it, go deal with the fight this tracer. Is it accurate to say that the tracer is kind of playing faster than the rest of the team, and the ball is playing faster than the tracer, like in this situation? Uh, I think what the tracer is doing is fine if they didn't know there was a tracer here. Yeah. Um, and then once you see the tracer, she's not looking at you. Then you can go for a play on her, right? And you can force like recall out really early, and you can see that she has no harmony as well, right? Mm. Um, so this is fine. It's just like if the tracer sees you, then like you have to back to this pack and play defensively until then. Well, not so, like, even if the tracer that. sees you, but like if that, if that Zen up top sees you either, because the, yeah, that Zen's but... in a much better position to help that tracer win that one v one. Yeah, but I mean, which Zen... I don't know how we would have known that, but yeah. Yeah, just gotta time it for like um, when stuff's going on, right? Really, and then uh, yeah. Yeah. So, again, like, what is this ball doing? Right, this ball is fighting for the angle, right? This this ball is like helping your tracer fight Ian, right? And so Ian gets forced out, right? Then they come back, right? Address the angle, then come back, right? And then we lose our McCree, right? Do you see how simple that is? Their tra their ball came to help the tracer. Oh, we lost grab to you, unfortunately. Um, but the ball comes to help the uh, help the tracer. Uh, our tracer's forced out. Their tracer ball can now come back and do whatever they want, right? It's as simple as that. Control the angle. You get to do whatever you want, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, we never forced out this angle. This echo comes out for a surprise, and we're now very sad. We forced out trans with pulse bomb, which is nice. Uh, Ian just will live at this point. I call this free poke. <laughs> Steve is just yeah. feeding. All right, look. This guy, these guys find this angle. They isolate the angle. They clear it. Right now, they can go back to doing whatever they want. Who has harmony right now? Uh, Cree. Cree. Okay. Yeah. Adaptive circuits engaged. Right, there's mines here, so just like start walking this way. <laughs> Zarya is super dead here, isn't she? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. This is also why, Avery, you don't want to take angles that are very isolated from the rest of the team, right? Because if you come here, where you're going to get help from, you can't, right? Your only option is to back out, and you got um, in trouble, right? So if you want to take angles, like go like wide on places that can get, be helped, um, and then fight for spots that, you know, uh, like you pretty much want to be an LOS or Zarya when you're making any kind of play, because that way that's that's your help, right? The majority of the time. So going underneath is not really the pathing probably. If you want to make a big flank, you can you can uh you can sit here, wait, because you essentially already staged if you're sitting here, right? And then wait and wait and wait and wait. And when your team says they're ready, right? You grapple, you kick him off the high ground, right? You get the bubble, then you get the slam, you get the reverse slam if you want to get back on high ground, right? Um and you've probably just won the fight for your team, right? Um but like going underneath is not the play. Pass into the iris. Oh my God. Yeah, so they just maintain angles, which they can, because they're up a lot of people, and we have a hard time staying. We have, we have to stay on point, and we lose this. All right. Anything? Anything you want to talk about on this map? Uh, no, not nothing. Uh, macro level, no. Okay. I went too far forward, I think. Yes, I went very, way too far forward. <laughs> uh, good old university. Oh, this fight was going on for a long time. I went 20 seconds back there. Red, two, one. 
Last time we were talking about the the dark room fight, right? Is this slow? This is slow, right? This feels seven point seven five. There we go. Yeah, yeah. What happened to our bubble? Do we use it already? Am I stupid? Uh, first person, Aras? F10? Just checking. Oh, that's really early. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So, um, I know I haven't done your Zarya VOD review yet, Aras. If you if you're listening to this, <laughs> but um, you really want to time this bubble for when your Vine's actually like swinging, right? So you can block CC for him, so he doesn't have to worry about shielding or his health, right? Uh, and he has to worry about his own pathing to make sure he doesn't take damage for that, right? So the real time to bubble is when your Ryan's going in on a wall. That's it, right? right? This is like this is when you want to start the bubble, right? God, that's a nice wall. But see, like how like he the bubble breaks and Avery's backing up. He shouldn't be backing up anyways. But like he like the bubble breaks, he loses confidence. He's like, I did my job, right? But this is when he needs to be going in, right? Is this right? And this gets um, Josh like focused really hard, and he has a good chance he okay. That's a really good um, ice block, but like. It almost gets him killed, right? And it forces the immortality, right? And there's a, like a big chain of reaction of just like uh, of you and Avery not being on the same page, and then Avery and, and Josh not uh, Avery not following up on Josh's wall, right? Everybody is compensating within that push. Yeah. So your bubble's early. Then the wall came out. And it was really good, but uh, Avery was playing off your bubble and not the wall. And now um, Owen played off of like Josh's health, right? And now it's a situation. But Josh actually like made a great play and lived on his own. And now we're in a situation where our Immo's out. We need Immo right now, right? And the Immo's about to break. And we're still backing out too. Yeah, I mean we have that to. That we was were... that wasn't even yeah. to continue the push. That was just a bailout. Yeah. Also, where was a Reaper in the whole play? What happened to him? Did he uh, get caught up somewhere else? He was the no, he was a sim, wasn't he? To TP out. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we we had the same thing last time where where the Reaper just TPs in. Reaper's always gonna be the last one in this situation, which which kind of sucks because it's so valuable to have a Reaper in that close combat situation. But like, you yeah. know, if it if it's the trade off for having a sim TP, it's the only reason we got there so fast in the first place. Pain. Josh is still in a really good position. Holy. And why is why is Josh what? in a really good position? What's the defining feature of Josh's position? He's flanking. I'm just wondering at what point they're gonna look at him. Yeah, I mean he's holding an angle. Nobody wants to actually fight the main, right? Nobody wants to fight him. Yeah, and meanwhile the rest of the team is shooting this side, right? Ideally our bat would be a little bit further back, uh, but like and our Lucio would would be up here, right? But like we've got a lot of pressure, and then like uh, our Reaper's not really in the fight, but he is I, keeping. Yeah, I actually wanted to talk about the Reaper for a bit. If you if you went back like five ten seconds, I'm not sure what is going on with Ian because like Ian gets in the fight for a bit and then takes Dark Room for some reason. I'm not yeah, so he he gets poked out here. He gets yeah, poked out here. Poked and out. Then he, yeah, he gets his Wraith Force and he doesn't feel confident walking in. And he's also really low health. Yeah. So Ian he, uh, for he you ends Wraith still in the fight. So why does he end up in Dark Room? Uh, because his Ryan died. And he started. He probably bailed. Um, okay. But I would recommend, like, um, I know we talked about off angling a lot, but as Reaper, you, you don't want to off angle until you TP, right? So your TP gives you the off angle, right? So you teleport above them, to the side of them, like behind them. That's your off angle, right? And then you, you stay in for as long as you can, right? And then you wraith out, right? Um, but you don't want to just like walk at the off angle because Reaper is like the slowest hero in the game, basically. <laughs> not, not, not true, but like he's super slow, he's super obvious, right? Um, and everybody like who with like a functioning brain will shoot the Reaper if he starts walking at you, right? Um, so, like, when you walked at them, like, really, like, straight up, right, they're going to shoot you, they're not going to shoot your Ryan, right, and normally that would be good, but not for Reaper, right, Reaper wants to get in, so if you get your Wraith Force, you're sort of just done, your fight's done for the next 10 seconds, right, so just play conservatively until your team's about to go in, and then you TP behind them and go in, right, or just, like, follow your Ryan in if you, there's a Maywall, right, but you want to be really cautious about having your, cautious about having your cooldowns forced until then, because I know why you back out here, it's because you have no Wraith, but, like, you, you should have Wraith, right. Like, do you see how like painful it is just walking at these people? <laughs> it's so just hard. Shooting. Yeah, like you should just like TP up to the high ground behind them, or like TP over to the left side. Left side's a little extreme. Um, just TP somewhere, right? And figure out what to do after that, right? Just make sure you don't get flash, right? If you have to use wraith to dodge flash, that's fine. Uh, because um, uh, even if like they turn around and kill you after your wraith, you'll force a lot of attention. Um, and your Ryan's down. Your Ryan's already dead anyway, so you need to like create some kind of big advantage anyway. Right? You need to gamble a bit, right? So if you, you TP in, the Mercury turns to flash, you, you wraith the flash, and then you just unwraith and kill him, right? That's a huge win, right? Um, and that's a play you can make with TP. But like just walking at people is impossible, right? Like just look at this. Right? <laughs> it's so hard. 
The objective is now. Yeah, so again, when you don't have Wraith, you can't do this, right? So if you don't have to use Wraith, right, to like hide behind cover and you take some damage, but you get healing, that's really good. Um, because as long as like there's enough healing to go around, um, having uh, missing health is much better than missing Wraith form because Wraith form like is your is your ticket to aggression, right? So when you push, you didn't Wraith form, you immediately died, right? Oh my god. That's a fast blizzard. You just want to end it. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back, but you can continue talking. Okay. Remember, uh, when we're holding these positions, that we need, need the focus actually needs to be on dark, right? Because we can only control two at the same time, right? And this is the, the primary off angle. We can't control, like, high ground in this at the same time, realistically, not with our comp. Um, so we hold here with, the, like, our May and our Zarya, right? And we stick our Ryan on like, against the store, right? So whichever side they go, right, we can match them. If they decide to go this way, right, we swap sides on our Ryan, we put our Ryan over here, right? And we continue holding the spot with Zarya, right? Um... And that way we have the ability to like rotate, right? So if the Ryan starts sliding this way, right? Our Ryan can like mirror that movement and and, and maintain like the the, the um the angle, right? But this way he's also not taking unnecessary poke from this side of the, the map, right? Now I can just sit here, be chill, right? In the meantime, we're spamming out here with our May or whatnot. Our May might be able to want to slide over as well if that happens. And then our Zarya and our um uh Reaper can consider flanking on this side at this point, right? So when the fight's going on over here, right, our Reaper can just like um, TP over there and like flank across over here, and he can even TP as soon as he realizes they're crossing to the side. Or if they're like fighting on this side of the map, right, then the Reaper and the Zarya at any point can just like the Reaper can the Zarya can just bubble the Rhine and just walk through with high charge and a Reaper and just kill anyone who's playing over here, trying to help the Rhine like right here, right? It's a really big power play, which is why like controlling this room is so important, right? Especially for Zarya. All right, so this is like the position we don't want, right? It's like we talked about like um, off angling, and on the Li Zhang map, you off angled way too hard to Ross. Um, or it just took a like kind of bad off angle, but this is like this is not off angle at, at all, right? So at minimum you should be here, and preferably you, you should be over here, right? Both tanks are just look at the the same exact straight line, right there. Yeah, and and, and if like for example your Ryan is here, right, and you uh, and you don't want to hold uh, up here as a result, that's like I'd be okay with that. It would not be the most value, right? And we could talk about that, but um, it's still better than like playing the same spot, right? So if your Ryan's over here and you don't want to hold here, you can play over here. And even though this is so far away from dark, at least you're holding another angle, right? So this spam is fine. I just really like to see you spamming from here, right? First of all, this is closer, so it's easier. <laughs> uh, and then second, right? Um, again, this is the priority spot on the map for you. Is, is our Brian about to go hold that? Okay, no. I mean, they, they, this team does not understand map control, so like they, they just push in, right? <laughs> oh, what a wall. Oh, boy. That was actually such a good wall. I mean, it was kind of awkward because that was also the back window. <laughs> it was <laughs> but the super awkward, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, because we can't realistically hold this, especially against Amoya. Like, and it gets her comp. We should have the back window just like for yourself somewhere for the back. Yeah. I mean, um, if you're going to shoot around that corner too, that means that you're going to be standing and choked to hit those shots. Yeah. So if we look at that fight that went down, though, besides the wall, right? How was our, how was our overall positioning? What would you grade it? Would I grade it? Yeah. The setup. Um, ooh. I, I, I give it like. God, right, right in this frame, I I want to give it like a B minus. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty good, but there's some obvious flaws, right? Um, the big thing is our map is right here. <laughs> yeah, well, so so like, it, it it feels like it feels like how how do I even describe this? It's like when you're playing um one of those board games when you're trying to like guess the password and you can tell whether either like the position is right or the pieces are right. Uh, it feels like the positions are are all correct, but it's the wrong pieces in, in, in the right positions, right? Like where the May is should be probably the Rhine. Where the BAP is should probably be the Zarya. Um, the, I mean, I don't necessarily want the BAP and Zarya to switch, but it's like, you know, why why are the tanks playing in the back line, right? Uh, yeah. It, it's they, they got pressured out. It's really weird for them. BAP's in the front line. He's about to get just... 85 HP chunked down twice in a row with this Ryan there. It, it, it's just, it, it's bad, but it works out, right? Yeah. Realistically, like, our Ryan should be a little bit further forward because this wall should be communicating. You should know that this is coming. Uh, in the absence of the wall call, if that didn't happen because we weren't here for it, then this is, like, backing up like this is fine because there's a coalescence in play, right? Um, 
but like overall like what the mind's doing is okay right the bap should be realistically be like on this door at at minimum and like maybe this door like this is the farthest word you can consider right um but you should be behind cover right this is a big problem with, with your bap owen is like whenever you go for like wall you completely compromise your positioning every time for the window right and you just can't allow that to happen right um like you just gotta at least play behind cover right and if like you can't give a value wall for your team that's totally okay just use the wall for yourself right um what uh, even's doing is fine, right? Pushing aggressively, right? Uh, if like you know that your team is like going to wall, and you know the whole enemy team's like also pushing main for some reason, then like uh, the most optimal position's here, right? Probably for this fight. But in the in, in a standard fight, what you're doing is way 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 better. And if you're playing McCree or something, this would be super optimal, right? You just like walk out and just yeah. shoot them, and like what are they going to do about it? But um, this is also fine on its own as Reaper. Um, yeah. It's 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 good positions being held by the wrong players that's being salvaged by cooldowns. Yeah. I mean, this wall just basically won the fight. That, that wall, that, that <laughs> yeah. wall is good, and I think that bubble is going to get some value, right? At least you're going to get charged yeah. off of that. Yeah, I would like to see Ross also just play a little bit closer, but like play by cover, right? So if you're going to commit to playing this right side of the map, at least play it behind cover, right? Like here or here. So that way, if they push you, you can duck behind cover, right? And get help, right? And then you still have like options, right? But if you get pushed here, right by a coalescence, you can just die, right? Three seconds coalescence on you, you straight up die before you get to cover, right? Um, so again, this wall really salvaged the fight. Um, we're in approximately good positions, but we're, we're offset by a lot in terms of like where we actually want to be. So forced out early immo, right? Our BAP's 100, like, so BAP, there's no way our BAP lives. Oh my god, our BAP lives. Okay, <laughs> so our BAP 100% should have died there, right? And because our BAP was so focused on trying to live, that's why our Ryan gets so low, right? Is like, he just he's just not getting BAP healing. Um, but we get we, we get our early Ryan kill, we live for long enough for to save, stabilize this fight, right? And we look, right? Um, what's Josh doing? Josh is holding the off angle, right? This is really strong, right? He's just winning the fight because he's on the opposite side of his Ryan, right? I'd also just like to have Rosario here, right? So as soon as you realize that the fight is not pushing at you, right? Then you walk out, right? And just get it ready to back up in case the fight turns back in your direction as Arya, right? And ideal with the world, you'd also just be here, right? And then you could bubble your Ryan, you could fight here, you could spam. And if you decide that, like, this isn't the priority because it's turning into a stalemate or something, which happens pretty regularly on this map, right? Um, I mean, this isn't a stalemate, but if it turns into a stalemate, you can just like bubble your Ryan, just walk through over here, and just force the issue really hard, right? I'm not kidding. When that just straight, when, when that holding the spot of Zarya, when your Ryan holds like here or here, just straight up wins this map uh, in a lot of ranked games, all the way up until like Masters. Like, just straight up wins the game. You just sit here <laughs> and you win. I will have to try that out on my free time. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's Ryan. What happened, to, what happened to that Reaper? Did he like Wraith in? Did he do the same thing that we did? Uh, he probably used Wraith to stay in the fight because his Ryan was dead. Yeah. My assumption. I'll watch it just to make sure. I, I, I just want to see. I want to see if he just did the exact same thing as we did. Yeah, he just Wraith to stay in. Yeah. Yeah. Which is understandable. Like his Ryan said, right? He's got to make a play. Yeah. He's not getting out anyway, so. I, I almost thought uh, Josh walled them in for a second. <laughs> I had, I had the wrong wall. color ice wall. Yeah. It's got like physically hold the Ryan back from just touching the spawn doors. Alright, they're going high ground this time. Interesting. They're trying to play around a May wall, that's totally fine. We just let them drop and then we can get a good wall anyways. This is too aggressive, Ian. Like, if you want to make this play, right, just sit here and wait. <laughs> wait until your team calls that they're going in or you hear that happening, right? Ideally, your team would call it, but um, this is like too early, right? It's going to get you forced out, right? You got a Reaper just run that chases you out, right? And now, like, he's going to swing back, and he's closer to the fight than you are, right? Or he's just going to fight you. <laughs> this is what we call ego dueling. <laughs> Grab for B. Good Blizzard. I mean, fight, fight should be done. Yeah. yeah. God, they're really trying to bring that one back. Yep. So. <laughs> oh, we play bug. No. It, it's so weird because it felt like this team had really good control over the situation in, in a lot of circumstances on the last Oasis map, and here it just feels like they're just making some really poor decisions. I mean, again, the only guy who understands how to off angle is this guy, right? Or yeah. whoever. Wait, who is? I, I don't remember who's playing Echo, but that, that the was, Echo player was the only one. I think that was a Reaper. Okay, yeah. I mean, he's like the only player who really understands how to play angles, and he's stuck on like team centric roles on this uh on this comp, right? 
He's playing May the whole time, right? Or uh, or was he Reaper? Oh yeah, he's playing, he's Reaper. playing Reaper. Yeah, yeah. And like like again, like notice how, like he actually obsessed to the point that he ego dueled a Reaper instead of like just ignoring like, the Reaper and going back and helping his team, right? Um, and like yeah, kind of sucks. Again, like oh, when you just you can't play it in the open. I know Bap is like a bit more resilient than like Honor or Zen, but like you like you you can't just like let that like um destroy like all your like let let you like forget all your existing support fundamentals, right? Like, that's a pick that straight up just should not happen. Yeah, if we had immortality, we probably because... won this fight. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. If we had immortality, we probably survive this. I don't know if we win, but we probably survive at least this. Right. I mean, they're committing everything. It's last fight, yeah. so it, it, it's not like oh, it took three ults to break through sound barrier. Those they were gonna use those anyway, so run this one back. All right, let's see how we retake, and then I'll probably just move on to the next map with this because we're taking way too long. Yeah. Wall attempts okay, but realize that the counter wall is going to come. Yeah. It was fine. I really like this, and at this point, Owen or not Owen, Ian. I'd just like to see like, whoop, you're. I mean, you're already here, right? So just like, realize that this is free. Just go over here, take the free map control, give the minions to sustain you, right? And then you like you poke at this right like you would force so much Rhyme just sitting here and shooting at the Rhyme, right? Like even if not, even if you can't shoot at anything else, like you're missing everything. As long as you shoot at the Rhyme, you're gonna make him shield, right? Um, and just from that, you're winning, right? Because the Rhyme can't drop shield, your Rhyme can. You win those shield war, right? Although our sports got annihilated. Okay. Still winnable, potentially. Blizzard's good. Kill Alicia, kill Ryan. Okay, we lose. Alright, next fight. I said I was going to watch one retake, wasn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, one more, one more. <laughs> one more. I, I feel like that barrage might have actually just been the, the biggest throw. Uh, I mean... Use ults to win fights, right? If you're not sure you're gonna win the fight, it's fine. They use they use that ult to clean up the. Uh... Yeah, but I mean they don't have it here. It, it was dicey. Uh, yeah. I think this is a bigger problem <laughs> for them. The fact that Mario just entered. I this totally early... didn't notice how she died. Yeah, so this is too early, Ian. Um, mostly because like your team's not here. Right? Do you see how this Zarya can stand here and fight you and potentially kill you, right? And your right and your team's struggling to catch this, right? You just want to time this a little bit later, right? Um. Oh wow, you actually killed. Yeah, the fire with that in your face. That was really good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, just timing a little bit later, and then again, don't focus on this. Focus on this, right? If you're already here, right? If you already went right side, go, go, keep going right, right? Uh, like the the idea of uh, McCree is like you're sort of tethered to your team initially because you don't want to like flank initially because um you'll be on your own, you'll probably die, right? Um, but you want uh, it's kind of like um uh, it's kind of like playing Ash where you just kind of shoot and then you drift, right? So like you shoot, shoot, shoot from main, from main. And then you drift right, right? Because you're already right. If you're if you're going left side, if you're playing with your team, right? You shoot, 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 right? And then you drift left, right? And that's like how like McCree kind of needs to think as well, right? Um, because you, you don't your overall damage output is not the highest, but you have very high burst damage and you have flashbang, right? So you just need to keep drifting and, and fish for kills, right? All right. So now, now that you're here, right? I wanted to see you just keep going this way and look for a flashbang kill, right? But this is like everybody's pushing our way through the choke, right? There's no one, we're walling like a May, right? And then you die, and you died not because no one didn't heal you. I mean, like, I think Owen probably didn't heal you, but like, not, but this isn't why you died. You died because you were here instead of pushing this side or pushing this side. Does that make sense? Um, to you, I guess. <laughs> that, that makes sense for sure. Okay. That, I, I, I was watching that ride so yeah. I'm like, this is gonna be so goofy. Yeah, we didn't check our corners. Uh, and again, right, Owen, you don't need to be here, right? You can do your job just fine from here or up here, right? You don't need to leave your cover. God, it's actually just a season two bumper play. Yeah. It's like, why is he there? I mean, like you said, though, like they lost, they didn't have a fire barrage, and that was their one ult that they had going to this fight, right? Um, and when you when you don't have ults, like that's when you need to get creative, right? Yeah. So they had shatter. They even though they lost two people going in, he just like hid in a corner, right? After the May wall, uh, we lost LOS. We didn't see. We didn't scout after that. We didn't like. We all like ran straight on to point as soon as the wall broke, right? Well, so so so, then, so 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 go back like go back like 30, 45 seconds, right? I just want to point out like we we take this entire fight. I just wonder at any point does anyone ask like, hey, I don't see that Reinhardt? Like, yeah, I mean. 
Like, we see the Ryan there. And he skedaddles. And... Okay, wait for this wall, right? Wait. Oh, wait sure for that wall. Wait for that wall to push, because we can't. We obviously can't see anything there, right? We push in, and like, I don't know if Josh sees him there. Probably not if we got hit by the shatter, right? Yeah. But like, but like that that blue wall cuts off line of sight. We all push in. Just yeah, he's he's there. I just want to emphasize though, like all that scouting errors could be resolved when if you just played a better position. You just wouldn't get shattered, and then you could save whoever got shattered. Yeah, it's just kind of yeah. like it's kind of like the magician pulls up the cape and pulls it down. The Ryan is gone, right? He, he's just disappeared. <laughs> and, yeah. Okay, that was the second retake. We can move on okay, to the next okay. one. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm just yapping. No, 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 no. I am too. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, we go not jump pad side. I like that. So we have our echo flanking very hard. Just make sure if you're gonna fly, Josh, that you call for orb before you fly, or as you're flying, so that way, like, you get it before you take any damage. We're chasing out the ball flank. This is fine. Josh wins on the the neutral exchange. This is that other oh. thing that we we're talking about too, right? Where we want the soldier to be holding like far right side, like almost their main. When yeah, he was chasing the, the ball. No, 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 I, no, oh, I know, he, I know he's chasing yeah. the ball there. I just want to see yeah. if he resets that position. Yeah, he does. Nice. Hey, That's go. good. That's good. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the, the problems that we had last time on Oasis definitely got corrected here. Yeah. I like to see you, Josh, if you get to this position, like just like hold it, right? Um and then see if like I know you saw the tracer going this way, which is why you're leaning in this direction. But like just see if like does it like um you don't do like having one extra person doesn't necessarily make the tracer stop doing what she's doing. But like one thing you can do is you can actually catch her on the way out, right? Um and uh so just be careful about like just like um coming back here because you're giving up map control right to do this yeah like realistically like what did you contribute doing this and now you're burning fly to get like back here faster as opposed to just staying here and then like getting harmony orb and just like taking an aggressive angle right Yeah, I so, don't know why Soldier left position for so long. Like, I saw the whip shot, but there wasn't really anything to pressure him out. Uh, he was probably calling for orb, kind of antsy, but yeah, he definitely didn't need to leave. He has heal pad and everything. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, like, pad. And you're doing a good oh. job of distracting the brig, too. Did? Why, why, how am I back here? I don't know why it does that. That's not even like a new bug. That's just been in for years. Yeah. So my guess is... Right, she hits yet. Yeah, Mini? okay, he comes all the way back here to heal field. Yeah, you just heal field over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just stay in it. Um, <clears throat> I want to see what Owen's doing here, though, because, like, he doesn't orb Josh here. I'm wondering what he was looking at. Uh, he was orbing Josh, and then he doesn't. Yeah, okay, so, again, move the right click down the priority list. This takes priority, not your right click, right? So shoot this right click as soon as you can, um, and... Like yeah, or because he's he's right above you. Actually, where is he? The, he's oh, he's like right. weirdly oh, yeah. above and behind, right? So so I think I think Josh almost like jukes him out, right? Because now yeah, Sam's like, got to go onto the point to to heal him, and they just yeah. dance around each other. Yeah. So Josh like gives up on you early and like goes to grab the mini, but at the same time like you didn't even you you looked at him right and you didn't even try to give him more right. You didn't try to like like shoot and then lean your way out to find him right, and you didn't tell him that like hey peek me. You, you didn't tell Josh to peek you right because I mean clearly he's not right. He's he's literally grabbing a mini. Um, so like this is what I mean like the, the the how like this is a situation where like your orb priority is wrong because you need to maintain orb on him so you can maintain so you can maintain like um, uptime right because this is not uptime this is the, <laughs> the exact opposite of it right so I mean it could it could also just be as simple as like you threw harmony on him you thought he was good and then you just like forgot but yeah I mean, no it happened in front of him though yeah like I, either way that's just not something that should be happening. Yeah. Just, you, you orb him here. This is good. You orb him. And then he loses the orb, and he becomes critical, right? Yeah. This should definitely be a, cha a moment where you're trying to reapply the orb. Right. And then you're like, nah. <laughs> no. Also, while this is going on, Ian, um, if, they, if you realize they've all dropped, you don't even have to stay here anymore. You can actually just keep going and go for the jump pad and go take their high ground. 
Um, this spot's a little dangerous because they come back, you're actually in the field of uh, line of fire, right? So the safest spot is actually going all the way through and picking up their high ground. Yeah, but you get pushed. Looks like we're okay though. Yeah, we should take this. Ooh, recall force off the bat, nice. So, this is an example of something, Avery, where, like, you're letting them set up for free, right? So I know I told you, don't fight um, their whole team before you, without your team able to support, right? Oh, I guess, like, your team is not playing high ground. Okay, maybe not. This is fine, then. Um, well, but you well so we have, we have talked about interrupting that rotation, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, our team's not here, so he doesn't want to do that, right? Um, yeah. I mean, he can potentially go for a boot, but, was, but he needs to be careful not to get caught, right? Um, the big thing, though, is like you need to mark this ball, right? Because wherever the ball goes is where the dive's going to be, right? So if you see this ball going this way, right, you just need to like start mirroring his movement in case he goes around the side of the map and starts going for your back line. And that, if that happens, right, he's leaving his team behind at that point, and you can chase him down and start fighting him, right, and keep him busy. And that's always where your goal is. Just keep the other guy busy, right? Because um, if this fight uh, goes long, your team will probably win um, because you guys have control, right? You just need to drag the fight out. And instead, the ball is the one flushing you out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ball's going to try to control the flank from the other ball, right? And the ball that wins is typically the one that shoots first. Yeah. Although we are getting decent picks. Echo's gone, Zen's gone. It's a 4v6 now. Yeah. So we get kills, right? But we look, we lost control of our flanks. So the ball goes straight in, because, I mean, I don't know. This ball does that a lot. But if you look, right? Things. We, the the Zarya is here, right? And our Zarya is here. Right? So what is this? This is main, right? What is this? This is the flank. This is what matters, right? Point doesn't matter. There's a million and a half people who can stall point at any given time, right? But you need, uh, as are you like, you need to control this flank. You need to hold it down, make sure this doesn't happen. And if they're, if you get lazy and they start go uh, focusing on point, right? Say this Zarya walks into point and, and starts trying to like contest point and then your ball just like stalls out forever. What can you do in that time, right? You can just take your energy and just walk over here and kill the Zen and they can't stop you, <laughs> right? Um, so again, the fights are won or lost in the flanks. Don't prioritize main. And this is this is doubly true if you're Sigma, by the way. If you're Sigma, like, oh my god, like if you sit here and like this Zarya, um, this Zarya tries to get on point, you just like walk past her, um, put the shield here, and even if they push you, you have the mini, and you can fall back really easily because you're Sigma, and then you just like shoot them until they die, right? Uh, but in any case, right, like we lost control of our flank, right? There's no one on flank watch here except the soldier who's just coming out, right? And soldier is not the best at holding a flank. He's he's um much better at taking flanks. Uh, because of the way his mobility works and because of the way um, his health works. <laughs> um, he doesn't have a, lot, a ton of survivability, but he does have a lot of like maneuverability. Like, he has good long-term map movement, so he can get to a flank that's not taken, right? It, there's nobody here, right? So a soldier can very easily just like run over here and take it, right? Um, other characters are much slower at this, right? But soldier's very fast, but he's not very good at like running away from, from things, right? A tracer right on top of him, he's not getting away from typically. He has uh, harmony, so it'll be fine, but... Calling it but now... It, the exact same thing is going to happen like the last time where the Echo just comes back from spawn and blasts him. Yeah, probably. Um, but like, like you see how, how you're playing main and you get separated like from your team because like you're playing main and then like see how this is going on and this is what your actual goal is to prevent, right? This is what you're supposed to be blocking, right? Not this. This isn't important. This will solve itself over time. Right, do you see how now you're playing here? And it's like, this isn't even like a real angle anymore, right? <laughs> Like, what are you supposed to do from here? And meanwhile, like, Ian is trying to 1v2 their DPS plus a brig on this side of the map. It's oh, like, God. Poor guy. Yeah, I mean, he has harmony, but, like, as, it's hard, right? Like, he shouldn't have to do that, right? One plus harmony should not be able to beat three people. And it's, like, cool that you killed the Tracer, right? But, like, <clears throat> is the Tracer even going to do anything from here? Probably not, right? Whereas, like, if you're out here and you kill the Zarya with support from, like, your, 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 uh, your Zen or something, and then your soldier takes the wide angle instead, and probably also kills the tracer, right? That's way stronger, right? Because that's an angle that you can actually reasonably fight people. Because once you kill the tracer, again, what are you supposed to do? You can't do anything. Yeah, it's kind of more like you got an exit pick. Like she was looking for something else, and you just happened to run into her. Right. Kind of goes back to no. He's like hovering around main. I'm preparing for him to like start guarding that flank, and then. Again, where's the fight won or lost? Right here, right? What are you doing here? 
having a, having a good time, but not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, you, you've been putzing right. around the, the main choke for like 30 seconds. Yeah. Again, where's the fight winner lost? Right here. What are we doing over here? Not 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 anything. <laughs> All right, we found an angle, right? Again, if they leave you behind, right, <clears throat> and and they ignore you, right, you can just walk in and kill people, right? Uh, but if you played an angle where you could more easily bubble your teammates and build charge, right, um, you could a potentially have a grab right now, and b you'd have charge and you could kill these guys way easier, right? Um, but because you've been like in such a like awkward spot for so long, you you have zero charge. I'm pretty sure. You might have some off that and that the brig, so like probably like twenty. Oh, you have forty. Okay, so more than I thought, but still not a lot, right? Um, and meanwhile, your backline's getting gone on. You're on the position to push the, the, the um their divers out, um, and you don't have the energy to really push the the backline in. I mean, you're trying, which is good. But... That's not the copy, but uh... oh <laughs> no. Yeah, but see, like because you don't have energy, eventually they out sustain you, right? They just beat you out eventually, and now you die. And meanwhile, your backline is like all the way back here because they're trying not to die. <laughs> yeah, this should have been a really easy fight win when they don't have anything to work with. All right, one more fight. Let's see how we retake. One more fight, we check out the meme of Dorado. Uh, if you want to, I know it's a meme game for sure. I just, I just want to see how bad it is. I just okay. want to give it a sniff. Alright, this is good, right? We take our Echo aggressively angled, uh, an LOS of our Zen potentially. Uh, our Zen's relocating though, so be careful uh, on your end, Josh. And then our meanwhile, our soldier is like, playing a, as wide an off angle as he can from the Echo, which is really strong. And then our ball is, again, playing ahead of our team, right? And contesting the flank, right? So that's really good. Although it doesn't look like you're actually contesting it, <laughs> so it's, <laughs> Avery, you gotta you gotta fight these guys. <laughs> I, I get it. the The corner's cozy, but like, there's there's work to be done. All right, careful with this, right? Um, they have rally. We don't. <laughs> We're kind of scared. I mean, we can pop rally potentially right now if we wanted to, but we kind of scared here. And our off angles are still like doing their thing. All right, I love this Owen, right? Or not Owen, uh, Ian, right? Team's fighting over here. You're like, this place sucks. And you run over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the off angles from Ian have been really, really good. In fact, I like it. I'd also like it if you just sort of like, you're like, okay, this is all right. But what if I went even deeper? So, like, as soon as they start looking at you and start like trying to hide from you, right? Instead of pushing this even further, right? Just like shoot them until, shoot them until they start hiding and then keep running. Go even further. Like, what's going to stop you from over here, right? I mean, Nothing. your ball, your ball is secured high ground for you, too. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's different. Like, as long as you know this is like relatively empty, which you should because they're all in front of you, <laughs> then like, like it doesn't matter if the ball's there, right? You can just go take it. No, no, no. no. What, what I'm saying is like, the, like the ball knows that that's cleared out. Like, like you should know that that's cleared out. That's that's empty for you if your ball's just chilling. Yeah, I mean th that's a bonus. But even if it wasn't, even if like the ball wasn't there, like you should have a relatively clear idea, like a relative like idea that it's probably empty or at most is one person in there. And if they're not ready for you, for you, you just kill them, right? Especially if you have attack visor. You come out, you jump up the jump pad, and you see someone there, you attack visor immediately. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> you just kill them, right? Just yeah. blast them. <clears throat> yeah. And then, like, but, like, do you see how, like, they hide from your angle, and your team's not set up to capitalize on this angle, right? So as a result, because they're, like, busy trying to live. Uh, <laughs> but as a result, right, that means that, like, your damage is no longer meaningful, right? So just take the time. Go take a better angle, right? <clears throat> and now you're set up here, and you set up for a massive two-way crossfire with your team, right? All right, if you just look, there's just nothing you can shoot anymore, right? So you're coming back here to shoot this, which is okay, but like you much, you don't want to shoot this. You want to shoot this, right? You want to shoot this, right? You want to shoot these guys. If you're up here, right? This McCree is so sad, right? What is he gonna do? Like, do you see how like, uh, Josh just like pushes angle deeper. He's like, okay, they can't deal with me. I'm just gonna sit directly on top of them, right? And that's something you can do just over here, right? Just a different angle. Oh god, that brig is sad. No, Ross. <laughs> This is the same thing. This is main. Hey, <laughs> is he there? I get that this is like technically the original main, right? But like your team's living here, and they're also very close to the enemy team, right? Just in terms of distance, right? So this is like the new. This is the angle you got to hold, right? Um, you just got to protect this angle. So like the, the close angle last time, what was the close angle? It was this one, right? This is the closest angle they had to your team because we were playing this side of the point and not backside of the point. Which, by the way, we should in general. We should play backside and then whichever the way they rotate, we counter rotate, right? 
Um, <clears throat> but if we're going to play here, this is the close angle. This is the angle you need to hold. This is the, they're on point. This is the close angle. This is the one you need to hold, right? You don't need to push. You just need to hold, right? This is the long angle. This yeah. is not Zarya's place. <laughs> it's like, it's like when when you look at it, right? We're 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 telling him to hold the angles, right? And and holding the angle isn't the objective. It's the step that gets us to the objective of protecting our team, right? Yeah. Like the intent is you're going to protect your team. How do you best do that? Hold the angle, right? Your objective isn't just take angles blindly. It's it's you're going to save your team. You're going to keep them safe. Or at least so that's a hope. Yeah. Like this entire time you've been playing like this sort of main side, right? There's always been a wall between you and your sports. Like how are you supposed to bubble, right? You can't. <laughs> yeah. And so like you just you just got to chill here. Hold this spot down. Make sure they can't push it. Protect your supports, right? And then if the fight develops, then potentially this becomes a reasonable option. Potentially this becomes a reasonable option. But right now, this is not the, neither of those are reasonable options, right? Right. And so they're getting pushed now, right? They might live, right? But they're getting pushed. Right? They get pushed by one person, then they grab the and your team. You grab the support, which is like uh, the backup, which is fine, right? But um, you probably could have just killed, uh, chilled here, killed the the, the the ball, and then just walked in after that, anyways, without even have, without, without even needing to grab. This is really good, Ian. They ended over here, like just in general, like just keep pushing the envelope, right? Until they, until like they show that they're willing to they can commit a lot of stuff to stop you, right? And at that point, like you should be able to read their their intentions because they should be really obvious. And you just run away from them, right? So if you show up here, you come around this corner, and they all like a four of them immediately turn to look at you. The ball goes into ball form, right? Just book it, just start running. <laughs> the ball will chase you down, right? You got them, and you fight them, you fight them off, and then you come right back, right? What are they gonna do about it, right? Right? <laughs> oh, that's the end. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so you want to see the Dorado now? <laughs> is, is, do we do we want to even analyze Dorado, or do we just want to react Andy so. to Dorado? <laughs> oh, we can react Andy. I think. Let's react Andy. I want to see how bad this is. They, I saw some screenshots. It's uh... <laughs> Is it is it bad? Uh, we'll see. All right, let's react Andy to it. To what are we running? Oh God, I already hate it. I already hate it. We're running pirate ship. Look at this somber dude. She's just, she's just waiting and watching. That's a good engage. Bubble here, monkey here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is really good that you guys remembered that this flank. Uh, you guys just took it while they, they were distracted with this, and now you have a free angle. You just ran up the right side. Yep. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, yes, the natural cover of the payload. Yep. Good position, good position. Oh, how Josh has fallen from grace. What is he doing, dude? He's on the bastard on the payload. Yeah, he's the champ. He's, he's a winning champ. player. He's <laughs> the champ. <laughs> oh, that Zed's so scared. That Zarya needs to be more scared. Bro, why is there Zarya out there? She's winning. <laughs> No, she's not. <laughs> she's, oh, I mean, she she is. Wait, how'd she get healed? Where'd she get healed? Her shields, I'm pretty sure. With bubble and stuff like that. Yeah, she wins these. Oh my god. She won the plank by herself. She won V2'd. She won the mental, but she lost the payload. It's like season one Shanghai. Oh, she almost killed three, actually. I don't know. That's Zarya actually did pretty good there. I, felt like I mean, Zar good. Zarya, Zarya did a lot of work, but like now she's at the spawn. Like I don't know uh, how. I guess, I guess it's ult charge. She she's playing ult, but yeah. I don't know. I think Zarya's playing fine. Um, like I don't think any of the problems can be like traced back to the Zarya really at this point. Like maybe the Zarya overstayed. Like didn't need to chase the Ana. I but, think like, the Zarya is super overstayed. Uh, I mean, sure, but like, if you can't leave the soldier Nana alone, right? So like, what she did was fine. Um, maybe overcommitted, but like, what the especially initially pushing that and then killing the soldier was totally fine. In fact, it was really good. Bob against Bastion. <laughs> huh. Well, the primal there, against Bastion. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Like, if someone is at fault here, it's probably this guy. He's just been inting the whole game. No, the the the, the monkey's definitely not doing a lot. He straight up fed like 2,000 health already. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. I'm surprised Josh doesn't have ult yet. He already used it. 
Oh, did he actually? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, did he actually? What did he yeah. use hold? Earlier. Oh, that's how they capped the first time. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the, the reason... The reason I say that Zarya overstayed her welcome, though, is like... Yes, while the Ana and the Soldier need pressure, like, there is very clearly a Bastion, and there's very clearly no one to help your team from the Bastion other than that Sombra, right? Like, like I feel like you need Bubble if you're going to do something against yeah, the probably. pirate ship. Yeah, that's why I think he she overstayed. Is like, she killed the Soldier, like, just turn around and make sure that you get a Bubble, right? Out. Uh, but that said, like, when it, you the ways you kill Bastion are either by out-spamming him, um, with, like, safe, like, people who don't have to stand still, <laughs> or by, like, um... Like surrounding him, right? So like this play, just like push the side when she realizes that it's, that it's exposed. It's just two squishies, and knowing that the Bastion is never going to do anything to stop her from this, right? Is like is a is a pretty big power play. Yeah, but but she didn't she didn't surround him in that situation, right? Like she went after the back line, and it's like okay, cool, but you didn't surround the Bastion. Like the focus was not the Bastion, and it kind of needs to be in that situation. I don't know. This is I definitely disagree with that, but yeah, I mean, I just think that like. Um, her team really should not have died as fast as they did. Like, no, this monkey is just straight inting. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> like, monkey, monkey, that monkey is any swap. Smarter, like, that Zarya wins a fight for them by herself. Yeah. But the monkey just inted so hard that it didn't made up for, like, the Zarya's good play. Or brought down the Zarya's good play. Yeah, they really want to run just that weird monkey Big somber flank. dive. Again, you can't leave these flanks unattended or else you just lose. But honestly, what the Zarya needs to be doing is literally just, like, climbing up these stairs and trying to push the soldier. Yeah. And like the Lucio as well. Like the Lucio just like should get over here. Like I know there's like this stuff happening here, but like you're not gonna die as a Lucio to this stuff. So you just come up here and you fight the soldier by yourself. Ian on the high ground, what crimes will he commit? Yeah, like this, like this this wins a fight, right? It's just straight up, right? <laughs> it yeah. just kills them. What are they gonna do about it? Oh god, that Ryan's so scared. Yeah, like that's something that you can't allow to happen. And this is why again, like the Zarya just Zarya Lucio, anyone with the ability to not stand with the Ryan needs to be pushing this really hard. Like, <laughs> what are you even supposed to push now? I mean, they can't touch anyways. But like, if you like, once you have the crossfire, you lose, right? The payload has reached if the if Josh runs to the mega, I'm gonna be so sad. He's gonna run to the mega and hold it. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, he he comes back. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Run! Uh-oh. <laughs> Run! <laughs> but when they needed Josh most, he disappeared. <laughs> I totally thought Owen was gonna get away hiding behind that corner. Yeah. Oh, I, would, I would all die laughing. Okay, if they stabilize. <laughs> that, that was a good dynamite. Yeah, they kicked Ian out of there as well. Although, the big flank! <laughs> <laughs> Off angles win fights! Oh my god, frontline bastion, frontline bastion! <laughs> That's why you don't frontline bastion. <laughs> That's why you don't frontline bastion. <laughs> see Omnic Wars all over again. I'd really like to see Ian just run high ground right now. Yeah. Oh, oh no. it looks like he was about to. <laughs> Not that way. Don't run that way. <laughs> oh, jeez. Everybody together, right? That's good anti. Does he just it's so or theoretically just possible? No, nah, never mind. I lied. Yeah, like everyone was together, right? There was no one taking high ground. There was no one like taking off angles. Where right? everyone's together, big oh, grab. Clustered. In the ideal world, we would have like soldier here, we'd have soldier here, and we'd have Bastion like here, uh, with like Arissa, uh, or Ryan, and then have the other yeah. one push cart. That's an ideal world, but we didn't get, get set up properly. Yeah, just just set like the the balloons tower defense on on third point, right yeah. there in the center.
Yeah, and if they try to push the soldier, right, they all run it at the soldier. Then at that point, your Bastion just jumps off, sits here, and you oh walk the card in from their side. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, and you put your soldier over here, right, as far away as possible. And if they keep running at the soldier, then he just drops, shoots, stands here. And if they all drop off high ground, he goes right back up. Just just kite right. him. Yeah, you can literally do that. Just put the Bastion here if they all chase you up to the high ground, right? Just like, as soon as the soldier realizes that, like, you just move the Bastion, and then you walk the card in and say, come, come get to the cart. There, there's still three minutes, they might do it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying that's, that's the way they should have played that situation. Alright, waiting for Ian to come back. <laughs> Josh really wants to take the Ego Duel against this Ash. <laughs> He's actually just gonna Bastion 76 his way to the point. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Wait! Jane, you pinned it! <laughs> you pinned at the tire! Wait, what? Jane, no! Is that what happened? Yeah, he pinned at it. F F9? Dude! <laughs> Jaden, no, not like no. this. <laughs> oh my god, that's a shmeedy shatter. Body. Uh, <laughs> pain. I wonder if he meant to fire strike there and just hit the wrong button. I don't know, but either way, it was, uh, he has ammo. They, they're fine. You just God, imagine, like, if, imagine if you could charge and hold tire. <laughs> just deliver it like a diva bomb into your team's backline. Alright, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. We're running sim, we're gonna TP up to the high ground. <laughs> oh no. The big plays. They're set up right on top of it. Uh, this is dicey. <laughs> oh my god. We're actually just gonna go right in. Oh. Yep, we went right in. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Alright, question mark? Why did our TV tanks not TP first? What's going on here? But <laughs> it's literally the support's running for it first. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, take TP. What's happening here? <laughs> oh my god, dude, Anna's just waiting there with the with the nade. You know that made like a noob hunter clip. <laughs> actually, that that on is actually hitting really good nades. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a very ballsy play, Jaden. What yeah, is happening? Play. Yeah. Oh, rip. Oh my god, that Ana carried. Excuse me? I don't know. <laughs> there's there's been a lot of questionable ults so there's far. Been a lot. <laughs> we have we have we have returned to monkey. Yeah. Alright, so we got a Genji Doom now. Pain. Ah uh, yes, nano shield. Wait, Genji oh. good? <laughs> oh. Pain. Genji good? <laughs> Genji good? Alright, let's see it. Let's see Genji the blade. Good? Let's see the blade. Genji good? Oh my god, Genji good. Genji oh, bad. Genji C9. <laughs> Genji bad. Genji bad. I know from a screenshot that this defense setup is very interesting at first. Let's see it. <laughs> No way. Oh no. 
Oh god, I hate it. What are y'all looking at? The North Star? Moon. Is that a moon? What is that? I don't know. Oh, oh that's, that's that that is not the moon. <laughs> that's no moon. <laughs> it's a space station. Did he just throw a lamp? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they are looking at that. <laughs> They're trying to shoot it. Present. Man, I I hate I hate that we would never be able to like actually set this kind of thing up in a in an official match just because we wouldn't have the time to switch back. One. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get your six back. In you time, you would never get the six stack up here, but that's yeah. so you could get funny. everyone else here. You could get everyone else here, just not the. You wouldn't be able to get the Genji back in time. You you would be like probably back here by the time the the, the play starts. If you like, if you're fast about this, right? So yeah. um, one way you can do that potentially is instead of swapping Genji, you get like um. Uh, a soldier on Ash, um, and then you like you use a Lucio to roll out, and then run back, and then um, sw uh, swap to Mercy, come back with a with an Ash Mercy on the flank. Yeah, you could do that. So, did we reveal our position, or did like they just know that we were there, right? Dude, like, we were I shooting. We were shooting out here for so yeah, long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no I know. I know if they could see that or not. Because I'm just thinking, like, you just you just chill and wait for them to hit the corner, and they're gonna watch the top left high ground, expect you to be there. If they don't see you, just let the panic set in for like a good half second, and then just. You know, Ryan Swan dive charges off the yellow building from I mean, behind. The funny thing is, they didn't have to do any of this. They just had to like walk cart with a diva and just like take the rest of the team to high ground. That's free, and then 100%. get over here. They, shoot us, they just shoot us for free. <laughs> but they just like all dived us and then lost. They they were not ready. I mean, I think they're ready. I think they're a little too ready. You know, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That balls is trying his best. Oh, Genji, not good. Genji not good. <laughs> Genji not like, good. Like, like, all they have to do is walk hard and get some people to high ground, right? Like we can't shoot them. What are we actually supposed to do about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, no, you're supposed to find us up here. Oh my god. Bro, the cart's getting away. <laughs> oh my god, we're actually just mashing Q. Yep. I don't get it. How do we lose? I was unbeatable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How do we lose oh. that? I think we just mis mis-executed. I think uh, if we held our angles better with that comp, we would have won. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, what, what map control do we have from yellow building? Yeah, honestly, and then I think we uh, mistimed our tank cooldowns, I think. Um, clearly, we should have <laughs> used them when they were on cart, and not when they were uh, diving us. And uh, yeah. Um, oh, that Genji not have deflect or something? I I just saw I just saw him get blasted by the uh by the fire strike. Yeah, see like they just start setting up flanks, right? And then they like walk someone safe on cart with the Genji the Demon. Like what are we actually gonna do about this? <laughs> like if they like the only the only way a strat works is if they come to us, right? But they get the advantage, then they collapse and we lose. Or Genji oh. good? Genji bad. <laughs> Genji passable? No, oh, Genji bad. Okay. I'm, I'm watching this, and uh... I think we keep our ass on off tank. <laughs> oh my god, wait! No, they kept! <laughs> we had that in the bag! It's okay, we put our Bastion right here, and now we control the- we control the- oh. <laughs> Oh, no, you can't do this on your tanks. Get your tanks up here. Oh god, the bastion flank? Wait, is he gonna set up in the window? No, no, This no, is fine just gonna... if there was a tank here, right? Again, if we just yeah. put a tank here, with potentially both tanks, and put the bastion here, this is actually a feasible strat, right? Yeah, that's 100% feasible. He just ran off on his own, got blasted down in window. Well, he didn't have a tank here, so he couldn't stand in the open. But then our tank finally caught up, and he had already committed to a bad position, right? So... Our tanks were really late to the rotation. Genji bad feels bad. Genji bad. <laughs> Alright, taking high ground. I like it. A uh, nano blade. I don't like it. Rock? Sleep? Oh, wait. That, was that sleep oh, that was, or rock? No, that was sleep. That was sleep. That was sleep. Yeah. I was sleeping that we woke him immediately. God, it's just like my plat games. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, Firestar? Winnable? 
Oh, not winnable. <laughs> not winnable. <laughs> wait, winnable? wait, run that back. Run that back. Did the, did the, did the Genji just break his ankles? Yeah, he did. Oh, oh no, dude. F10. Oh, I felt that in my soul. What happened here? Oh no, dude. Ankle's broken again. I've I've done that. I've done that. Don't worry, Aras. I've done that. It sucks, but I've been there. Oh my god. Two hundred percent damage. Two hundred percent damage, Bastion. Tracer tries oh to push god. it. Oh my god. Double boosted Bastion. That's actually a war crime. <laughs> Oh god, dude. It's uh the Omnic Wars right there. Oh my god. Storming the beaches of Normandy against the Omnics. <laughs> D-Day, the D is for Dorado. <laughs> oh Dylan got owned. Oh. God, was this just like the last map of the series? Was this just like yeah, the last... Okay, yeah. just the one for fun? Oh my god. I've seen some I've seen some creativity today. Please have a tank here. Or at least throw your shield up there, Ross, and then start walking. Or that's not that, Ross, that's, that's not Jayden. That's not Ross, that's Same point. The point still stands. Wait, uh, Ross catches up. No, they're shields, you don't need a death. <laughs> How is our bastard juking out our tanks? Ooh, Sombra. That's pretty interesting. Sought to hug. And a blade in like five seconds, probably. Nah, they're dead. They're dead. Uh, Anna slept the. No, they, they might go for it. <laughs> <laughs> they went for it. I guess they got the kills. Yeah, they got the kills before then. Wait, Genji sometimes good? Sometimes good? Nanoblade? Good with Nanoblade? <laughs> on, a, on a better? On a new Genji? Probably didn't need the MP, but I get why we. Big shatter? Ooh. Big shatter. Are you just stay alive now? <laughs> yeah, I get why we EMP'd. It's because this was a meme game. And uh, no ultimates matter. <laughs> it's like what is this? Oh my god. I feel like I'm watching <laughs> Tiny Overwatch. What is this? <laughs> she runs away from it. <laughs> oh my god. What? What's F2, I think? What was she looking at? What was she going for? Oh! <laughs> she pressed it twice. Wait, no, no. She, didn't, she, she, she didn't press it twice. She pressed it once. I think she was aiming for in front of her and just... Yeah, she, she, was trying to, she was trying to get vertical like this. But she pressed the button once and not twice. Pain. Wait, where's that's, my shield? That's so <laughs> awkward. It's okay. This prevents the Bastion from holding the back corner like we wanted. I mean, he, just he, he, Bastion can no longer <laughs> hold pillars at the wall there. No, no, no. The Bastion can no longer shoot behind this spot anymore. <laughs> problem, like, the problem is solved. Now, now, now her, her team can use this spot, the space for free. Oh. <laughs> God, this is a cursed game. And that was the map. Uh, that, was the map. <laughs> that was it. Nothing more to see here. Oh, my right. God, dude. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we reviewed that one. <clears throat> good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job, team. Uh, I'm really proud of that 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 play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good hustle. Good, good Dorado hustle. We'll keep that in mind for the. That will be our strat for the tournament. Don't worry. Yeah, um... yeah, 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 for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta run now. Uh... Yeah. It's uh, nice. yeah. Right, I gotta go. Thanks for tuning in to the uh, VOD review. Those of you who are watching the VOD, and uh, later. Yep. See you next practice.